Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. One Piece. The God in the Straw Hat Pirates. Chapter 21. Yi Shang Cho looked at Zoro, and a coin appeared in his hand at some point, and bounced directly to Zoro. Not much, this is your pocket money. Zoro raised his hand and grabbed the coin in his hand. Only one Bailey. Are we too poor? By the way, Bailey in the pirate world also looks like a coin, and is made to look like gold, but it is not gold. Gold cannot depreciate so much, and is not as good as paper money, but there are coins that look like gold coins. But at this time, Nami's eyes were shining, dollar underscore dollar. Well, I am a little poor. Yi Shang Cho didn't want to talk. He wanted to be quiet now. Don't give it to me, you idiot. Luffy approached Zoro directly and raised his hand to ask for the coin. Zoro put the coin directly in Luffy's hand. Take it, forget it. Zoro originally wanted to take it, but when he let go, he found that it was a gold coin, which was worth a lot. No wonder Yi Shang Cho showed such an expression, this is already a lot, okay. So Zoro wanted to take it back directly, at least save it, and then he could buy a better sword. How could Luffy let Zoro take it back at this time? The two of them started a battle for the gold coin on the boat, and no one was willing to let go. After all, this was a gold coin. They could spend it for a long time if they saved it, and both of them needed this thing. Nami stared at Yi Shang Cho. Dollar underscore dollar. Alas, you are also our partner. The previous mistakes were not yours, but don't you have a lot of treasures? Yi Shang Cho said, took out a gold coin from his pocket and flicked it directly at Nami. To be honest, money is not a shortage. But money is not omnipotent. You can only collect cards by yourself, and without strength, no matter how much money you have, you can't keep it. There are so many fragments of the world, and this world is not the end for him, it is just the beginning. How can you survive in other worlds without strength? So Yi Shang Cho knows very well that money is something that you don't need to care too much about. If you have strength, are you afraid of not having money? Just like the admirals of the navy, if they say they are short of money, believe it or not, the next day the merchants will line up from the door to the square with money. Have you heard that the navy is short of money? Even if they say they are short of a devil fruit now, it is estimated that someone will send it up. This is the benefit of having strength. The devil fruit is something that other people can only encounter by chance. If you find one at random, no matter what it is, you can sell it at a high price. But have you heard of when the navy is short of devil fruits? B. Celestial dragons don't care about the devil fruits when they take them. They feed them to slaves for fun, so money is not that important. Thank you, who would complain about having too much money? Nami happily put away her gold coins and glanced down at Yi Shang Cho's pocket. Luffy also noticed it, but Luffy knew that there was actually nothing in Yi Shang Cho's pocket. Yi Shang Cho wanted to say, I complain. But he didn't say it. However, it was a fact. There were too many things in his wormhole and it was almost full. If it weren't for the fact that these things were useful, he would have thrown them away long ago. Yi Shang Cho ignored them and turned around to take out a card and put it in his hand. Others couldn't see it, but Yi Shang Cho could see it. He stared at the card with a white-haired beauty in a military uniform and a staff in her hand. Super God World Janna Fragment, Auxiliary, has the power to control the wind, but the profession is a nurse. Can be used for treatment, whether it is physical or spiritual. Haha, ha, it's this weird thing again. Yi Shang Cho turned around and looked at Nami. Does this thing have the effect of auxiliary treatment? It doesn't look like it at all. Yi Shang Cho was also thinking about some problems. He has now integrated the ability of Rose, the micro wormhole transportation technology, and now a fragment of the super god world has appeared, but he is afraid. What if this directly washes away the wormhole ability? And he doesn't want to be an auxiliary, okay. He still likes the output position. And the most important thing is that the last time he integrated Rose, it took two years. This is not a joke. Of course, it is not a fusion that can be motionless for two years. You can move freely, but your ability is not well controlled, so it is easy to run away and lose control. This is why he has to take Lu Fei to move to the middle of the deep forest. Yi, what's wrong with you? Are you heartbroken? Zoro saw that Yi Shang Cho looked a little strange, and his face became more and more tangled. Yi Shang Cho glared at Zoro and said, that's not the case. 
There's not much money. I'm considering other issues. Luffy, can I take a few days off? You know the situation. It's a bit troublesome. Of course, it's okay in the future. Oh, take a rest. It's enough for us to have Zoro, Nami and I here. You just need to be careful. Luffy knew about Yi Shangcho's situation. He had seen Yi Shangcho's rampage before. He was not kidding. It was simply fatal. At that time, both he and Ace did not dare to get close. Yi Shangcho nodded and went directly into Nami's small cabin. He was not sure how long the fusion would take this time, but he had the experience of micro wormholes. At worst, he could just stop. It was not appropriate to directly wash away his micro wormhole for the power of wind, and he was already familiar with micro wormholes. He might have wind escape in the future. Although it might not be the ability of the wind girl, it was barely enough. Zoro and Nami looked at Luffy with confusion, as if they wanted to know what Yi Shangcho was doing, but Luffy smiled slightly, improve your strength. I remind you that Yi is very dangerous at this time. Even I dare not get close. Just at this time, the mayor's voice of thanks came from the harbor shore, as well as the barking of the dog. Everyone smiled slightly. After all, they were still pirates and could not stay in this place for too long. Moreover, if the navy knew that this town was harboring pirates, it would probably not be good. Yi Shangcho closed his eyes in the cabin, his hands overflowed with flames to wrap the cards in front of him, and his eyes slowly closed. Yi Shangcho breathed a sigh of relief for this fusion. Fortunately, when the microwormhole gene was fused before, it was a quarter of the situation. This time, Gana's gene was only one-eighth of the power, which was good. Moreover, Gana's gene and the microwormhole gene belong to the same level of genes, and the microwormhole gene cannot be washed away at all, which is much better. Now what he needs to pay attention to is not to let the microwormhole gene kill the Gana gene. But Yi Shangcho never thought that when the world tree modified its body, it had already taken this into consideration. After all, there are so many worlds, and the power is also different systems, so his body was deliberately modified to accommodate any power system. Yi Shangcho did not consider these, but the world tree must consider them. But unexpected situations cannot be ruled out. Yi Shangcho practiced in seclusion, and the three bored people just waited. As for eating, they also dealt with it on the boat. Although Luffy knew that there were delicious food in Yi Shangcho's wormhole, this was not the time to disturb him, so the three could only eat some dry food. Finally, in the afternoon, their ship finally docked. The three of them rushed out directly, as for Yi Shangcho, Luffy said not to worry, it was good enough that Yi Shangcho didn't go out to cheat people at this time, and someone attacking him was simply looking for death. They finally arrived at a normal island, and they were hungry, and Luffy insisted on having a good boat, so they rushed out directly, leaving Yi Shangcho alone on the boat, and letting him protect their boat by the way. It would be great. Several people were surrounded as soon as they got ashore, but Nami was smart enough to see that there were only four people on the other side, and Luffy also recognized who the long-nosed man in front of him was, Usopp, the son of Jesus B.U., the sniper of the Shanks pirates. Luffy wanted to wake up Yi Shangcho, but after thinking about it, he decided not to. Yi Shangcho was probably at the critical moment, this they can't be disturbed at this time. Yi Shangcho was awake for a while after they got off the ship, ate a little, and then continued to refine his cards. Now the cards have been refined halfway, but this does not mean that the genes have been half fused. Gene fusion is a very long process. It is just an extraction process. It still takes a long time to melt the genes in the cards into your body. Yi Shangcho estimated that it would take about half a month, which was really a rip-off. It was almost dusk when Yi Shangcho finished refining all the genes in the cards, but he didn't know that the newly formed pirate group had encountered its first crisis. Yi Shangcho just wanted to get up and eat some food, but at this time, a child came from outside the cabin. There were anxious calls and knocks on the door. Deputy Captain. Debt Captain, get up quickly. The Straw Hat Boy's companions asked us to come find you. A pirate group is coming to attack this island. Debt Captain, go and help. Hearing the shouting outside, Yi Shangcho frowned. He slowly opened the cabin door. There were three children standing at the door. Yi Shangcho took a look and walked out slowly, suppressing the genes in his body, looking at the three children. Tell me slowly, what happened? It was that beautiful big sister who asked us to come and call you. 
A pirate group is coming to attack the island. The straw hat boy and the swordsman are fighting. Our captain is also there. Please come over quickly. The three children were so anxious that they cried and snotted. Yi Shang Cho understood what happened after listening for a long time. Luffy and his friends met a man, Usopp, the son of Jesus B.U. For some reason, this man caught Luffy's eye. Luffy hoped to get Usopp on board and ask for a boat from a wealthy family here. But the housekeeper of this wealthy family was not a good guy. He used to be a pirate, and now he wanted to occupy this wealthy family. This family only had one young lady, so it was easy to occupy her. As for the others, they didn't count. Luffy and his friends found out about this, and they decided to help Usopp. The housekeeper on the other side also called back his pirate group and prepared to take action. They were probably fighting a big battle now. Nami felt that she was outnumbered, so she asked the three of them to come over to ask for help. Okay, I understand. You guys stay here or go home. I'll be there soon. Yi Shang Cho didn't know what to say. How could there be so many things to do in just one day? As he spoke, Yi Shang Cho sensed the space mark he left on Luffy's place. The distance was not too far. After all, the island was not big. After feeling it, it was still within the range of his transmission. Yi Shang Cho opened the wormhole and disappeared directly in front of the three children. Disappeared. Ghost. Ghost. Monster. The three children were startled and ran to the island crying. On the other side, Luffy, Nami and the others were confronting the black cat pirates. There were more people on the opposite side and a pirate ship had already docked. Luffy was facing a man wearing glasses, but the posture of his hand pushing the glasses was very strange, he used the inside of his wrist. At this moment, a black hole suddenly appeared opposite the black cat pirates, and then a person slowly appeared in the black hole. Looking back at Luffy, you guys are really good at causing trouble. How long have I rested, why is there another fight? Ability users. The middle-aged man opposite pushed his glasses. Two ability users appeared in such a short while. He glanced at Yi Shang Cho and said, but ability users who haven't grown up are nothing. Do you guys want to face all of us? After all, pirates are a place where strength is respected. Having potential doesn't mean you can grow up smoothly. Who is this sissy? Yi Shang Cho listened to the man talking, and he seemed to be high and mighty, and felt a bit like Long A Ocean, but sorry, Long A Ocean does not exist in real life, but it still makes people uncomfortable. The leader of the Black Cat Pirates, Beiji Crow. Nami told him about the situation until Yi Shang Cho arrived. Oh. Yi Shang Cho turned his head and looked at the sissy in front of him. You are right. On the sea, big fists are everything, but it does not mean that old age means strong strength. There are many strong people on this sea, but there are also many useless people, not to mention the East China Sea, which is known as the weakest, right? Useless sissy. After Yi Shang Cho finished speaking, Chloe hadn't said anything yet, but the people behind him were filled with righteous indignation, and they wanted to rush out to fight Yi Shang Cho, but Chloe raised his hand to block them. Humph. Chloe sneered. What's the point of talking? Guys, kill them and let them know the cruelty of the sea. Ah, why did you provoke them? They are coming. Nami hurriedly ran to the side. Yi Shang Cho didn't care. He turned around and saw a long-nosed boy behind him, holding a slingshot and aiming at a person dressed very exaggeratedly on the opposite side. Yi Shang Cho shook his head. What power can a slingshot have? Brothers, kill them. The ability user is afraid of sea water, so use sea water to wet him. A group of people rushed towards Yi Shang Cho and Luffy, and no one knew where Zoro went to play. Tisk. Yi Shang Cho stepped forward disdainfully, looking at the pirates rushing towards him with a scornful smile on his face. These people were far inferior to Buggy's men. Wet me. Sorry, this is my new dress made by Makino. Yi Shang Cho came to the middle of the crowd. Secret technique, beheading blade explosion. Yi Shang Cho swung his beheading sword fiercely, but failed to hit the enemy, and they dodged it. Ha ha, kid, where are you looking at? But they didn't realize that the beheading sword didn't even land on the ground. A black hole suddenly appeared behind them and swallowed the beheading sword. At this time, Yi Shang Cho began to spin and took out the beheading sword from a wormhole beside him. He turned half a circle and threw the beheading sword out again. Ah, this time someone was hit and screamed. But Yi Shang Cho's speed was getting faster and faster. 
In a blink of an eye, there was smoke and dust everywhere. The beheading sword kept appearing in Yi Shangcho's hand and kept flying out of Yi Shangcho's hand. In the end, everyone could not see the beheading sword in the smoke and dust. They could only see streaks of light. The flying speed of the sword was getting faster and faster. Before, they could see the blade, but now they could only see the real light reflected by the blade. This was a way for Yi Shangcho to accelerate the beheading sword. At the beginning, the flying speed of the sword felt very slow, but the inertia of the beheading sword was very large. The speed of the beheading sword did not disappear after Yi Shangcho transferred it back through the wormhole. Yi Shangcho also synchronized his movement with the beheading sword. After the beheading sword returned to Yi Shangcho's hand, Yi Shangcho would give it another acceleration, so that the speeds were constantly superimposed, and later, with the splashing smoke, it was like this. They could not see the direction and position of the beheading sword at all, and the speed was too fast, so there was no way to avoid it. Help, monster. Faster than the captain, help me, captain. The cries for help were mixed with screams. After a while, Yi Shangcho finally stopped, and they stopped shouting. Yi Shangcho flashed back to Luffy's side and looked at the smoke with disdain. Finally, the smoke slowly dispersed, and the black cat pirates were dead and wounded, all lying on the ground. Now, except for the guy Yi Shangcho called a sissy, there was only the very boastful man standing there, his face green. None of their members lasted more than 20 breaths. Is it very powerful? But is this the courage you have to challenge my black cat pirates and my beiji crow? This is far from enough. Crow glanced at the people around him and said, Zangao, you go. That Zangao took out a flying wheel blade in his hand. This thing doesn't look that powerful, but it can cut off a person's bones with one strike. It is a weapon from ancient India. The wheel mother in later generations enlarged this weapon. Brother Catman, kill him for me. At this moment, two people suddenly appeared on the boat, one fat and one thin, with cat claws on their hands. Both of them had treacherous and sinister smiles on their faces, and their actions were very similar to those of cats. As you command, my captain. The two looked at Chloe with a strange smile on his face, and then he ran directly towards Yi Shangcho, who seemed not to see them. Success. The two looked at Yi Shangcho without making any move, with a smug smile on their faces, and they looked very happy. Ding. A sound of swords clashing rang out. How could we let you hurt our vice captain? Vice captain, you've worked hard, leave them to me. Zoro said as he ran towards the two and killed them. On the other side, Yi Shangcho watched the actions of Zangao, the vice captain of the Black Cat Pirates, with great interest. He seemed to be hypnotizing everyone with the small flying wheel blade. One, two, Zangao. At this time, Zangao seemed to have completed his hypnosis. The pirates who were lying on the ground got up one by one, their muscles bulged, and they rushed towards Yi Shangcho with fierceness and fearlessness of life and death. Luffy wanted to move forward, he was also hypnotized, but was awakened by Yi Shangcho with a slap. I am a little curious about their strength. I leave the captain to you. I am a little interested in these guys. Yi Shangcho rushed into the crowd again, but this time he did not carry a sword. He wanted to see how strong these guys were after being hypnotized, so that he could judge whether to take the card from Zangao's hand. Bang. In a blink of an eye, Yi Shangcho and a sturdy pirate exchanged punches. They are looking for death. They are now three or four times stronger than ordinary people. What? Zangao hadn't finished pretending when he saw his men flying out and landing on the rocks beside him, motionless, as if all the bones in their bodies were broken. Yi Shangcho frowned. The gap was too big. It made sense when he thought about it. In the Super God Academy, Chiangwei and the others were carrying barbells when they were training. They carried barbells weighing hundreds of kilograms on their shoulders, and they ran tens of thousands of meters at a time. It was not just Zhe Shaolun and the others, but also the girls. The level gap was a bit big. Strength is just that, speed, forget it. Yi Shangcho evaluated that the strength was not enough. It was enough for ordinary people, but it was too small for them, and the speed was not that fast. On the other side, Luffy and Kuro also fought. Zango was attacked by a slingshot and was now chasing the long-nosed man. Yi Shangcho thought about it and decided to end the battle as soon as possible, while protecting Zoro and the others. I don't want to play with you guys anymore. Yi Shangcho jumped out of the battle group easily. 
These people were much worse than the buggy pirates. Even after being hypnotized, they were still much worse. He also felt that the wind girl energy in his body was about to get out of control. He had to hurry up, otherwise it would go berserk. Yi Shang Cho jumped out of the battle group and quickly formed seals with both hands. Water style. Great waterfall technique. As Yi Shang Cho's voice fell, a huge wave of water rose behind him, like a waterfall. A large amount of water like a waterfall rushed violently towards the hypnotized pirates. Almost in an instant, all the pirates were washed to the sea, floating on the sea one by one. The hypnosis of all the pirates was lifted by the impact of the water flow. They floated on the sea weakly, struggling hard to their own boats. Yi Shang Cho didn't care about them. They were lucky to be alive now. It was fortunate that they were hypnotized. Otherwise, it would be difficult to survive now. Maybe they would die. It was not easy now. They didn't dare to swim to the shore at all. Even if they went ashore, it would be easier to get on the boat. Yi Shang Cho also sighed that fortunately they didn't go ashore, otherwise he would really go crazy. Now he is still trying to suppress himself. The Janna gene in his body has begun to merge. He feels like ants are biting his whole body. And he also took a fancy to Zangao's card. Yi. Go help Usopp. Leave this to us. Luffy had five more wounds on his body while he was talking, but he still stood there calmly. Yi Shang Cho also found that the man opposite him moved very fast. He had only seen such speed in Garp, but Garp was much faster than him. This. Luffy. How about I do it? Yi Shang Cho felt a little sad when he saw the wound on Luffy's body. After all, he was his younger brother. He was really angry about being bullied like this. Ace and the others didn't bully Luffy like this, right? Go ahead, Vice Captain, leave this to us. Zoro also spoke from the other side, and Yi Shang Cho knew that he couldn't refuse. Luffy's growth has entered a stagnation period in the past few years, and he needs to fight to hone himself. Ha ha. Arrogant boy, where do you want to go? At this time, Klo suddenly showed up and glanced at Yi Shang Cho, Spoon. Many knife edges appeared on the ground. Yi Shang Cho was a little impatient and opened his wormhole. At this time, five blades entered the wormhole, stir it. Ding. The five broken blades fell to the ground. Yi Shang Cho looked at them with disdain, opened his wormhole and left directly. This guy might be tricky for Luffy, but it was too easy for Yi Shang Cho. Kuro showed up again and looked at the five blades in his hand in surprise. He had never been like this in all these years. His blade was actually broken. He turned around and looked at Yi Shang Cho. He only saw Yi Shang Cho floating in the air, stepping back and forth in the air, and this height was just beyond his reach. Don't get me wrong, Yi Shang Cho is not using the Navy Six styles, because it can't be used against him. It's actually very simple for Yi Shang Cho to float in the air. He just needs to jump around on his wormhole. As long as there is a place at the entrance of the wormhole for Yi Shang Cho to take advantage of, Yi Shang Cho can jump to the moon, provided that he can breathe and has the physical strength. Moreover, Yi Shang Cho found that this guy's attack was very sharp, but it was still limited in range, and the attack was messy. He couldn't control his body at all and could only swing along. Moreover, the maximum height this guy can attack is the height of his hand. As long as it exceeds this height, it will be fine. In general, the disadvantages are great. Yi Shang Cho restrained the opponent in two aspects. This guy couldn't dodge a large-scale water escape at all, and he couldn't even dodge because he couldn't control himself. This is a tragedy. It's like Yi Shang Cho is in the air now and he doesn't know how to attack at all. He has no other options except watching. This is the disadvantage. But if Yi Shang Cho throws a big move below him, he can only give in and won't even dodge. But unfortunately, he can't use a big move now, so he can only watch. Hey. What are you doing? This guy's opponent is me, okay. I'm the captain, I order you to help Usopp quickly. Luffy shouted dissatisfiedly. It was not easy to find an opponent, Luffy didn't want to waste it, and Luffy said, if you want to beat him, then beat him. What's the point of him playing when Yi Shang Cho took action? Others don't know, but he knows that the fighting power of this vice captain was praised by the old man back then. Okay, you are the captain, you are the boss, I am leaving, you guys be careful, it doesn't matter if you die, I will avenge you. 
Yi Shang Cho said helplessly, in fact, he was just provoking, he didn't want Luffy and the others to waste too much time here. Tisk, who will die? Zoro on the other side also started to take it seriously after hearing Yi Shang Cho's words. His captain and vice captain were too strong. If he didn't work hard, when would he be able to catch up with them? He had his own pride, and he didn't want to be a drag. Yi Shang Cho glanced at Zoro and Luffy, whose eyes were blazing, and jumped away directly on the wormhole. As for the trash talk that Crow and Luffy said, he didn't care. He was afraid that he couldn't help but curse at them. His words were very irritating. What if he directly pissed the other person off to death? Yi Shang Cho was watching the situation on the island from high in the sky. There were explosions in a forest not far from him, and trees fell from time to time. Yi Shang Cho walked over slowly and curiously. He had listened to their explanation before. This Usopp is ready to board the ship, but Yi Shang Cho can't let anyone board casually, so he still needs to investigate. He has met all the members of the Black Cat Pirates before, and he has a rough estimate of this pirate group. It is above average for the East China Sea, but how about taking it out? Ha ha, Yi Shang Cho doesn't want to comment. If they can't beat such a pirate group, then this group of people should be replaced. Since this person is going to board the ship, his test is to defeat the vice captain of the Black Cat. Yi Shang Cho has also seen that this vice captain of the Black Cat Pirates is a weakling except for the hypnosis that he can use. Luffy can beat him with one hand. If he can't beat such a person, then forget it. Squeak. Yi Shang Cho just took two steps and broke a branch. At this moment, a flywheel flew directly towards him. Yi Shang Cho took a look at the flywheel and raised his hand to create a wormhole. After the flywheel passed through the wormhole, it returned to where it came from. Yi Shang Cho jumped directly onto a big tree, not intending to disturb their battle. If he participated in the battle, how could he see Usopp's ability? Zangao looked at the flywheel that flew back again, raised his hand to catch it, and felt bad. His flywheel would not come back unless it hit something, and its power was no joke. However, this time it went out quietly and came back, which made him feel a little uneasy. The root of this flywheel was obviously wrong. Zangao took a few steps to the position where Yi Shangcho was before. He looked up and saw Yi Shangcho sitting on a big tree not far away. Zangao's heart sank. Before he left, he hypnotized all the crew members, and there were cat brothers and the captain on the ship. Now this person actually came over, which meant that something was wrong. Moreover, seeing that the other party's clothes were not in disarray, Zangao was extremely nervous. His first thought was to run. There was no other way. His hypnosis was very helpful for large groups, but it was easy to be interrupted for one person, so the effect was not good. Must kill Pepper Star. The voice of the long-nosed man came from not far away. Zangao threw the flywheel in his hand to smash the opponent's bullet. Then he looked at Yi Shang Cho uncertainly. It was two against one. His first thought was to run. There was no other way. Yi Shang Cho had brought them too much pressure just now. Yi Shang Cho seemed to have seen through the other party's thoughts. He lowered his head and looked at Zangao. Just pretend I don't exist. Zangao almost cursed in his heart. How could he pretend you didn't exist? Such a big man sat here. He was not blind. Besides, wasn't the deterrent too great? Fight, I won't attack you when you fight, but if you dare to run, I will kill you, fighting is your only chance to survive. Yi Shang Cho knew what this guy was afraid of, but he would not attack. If Usopp won, this person was lucky not to die, and Yi Shang Cho would let him go. If Usopp lost, he would save Usopp's life and let this person go. After all, he was a bit hypocritical with Jesus B.U., but Usopp, don't even think about getting on the ship. This is what you said. Zangao looked at Yi Shang Cho with hatred, and went back to fight Usopp. He knew that he had no choice now, and now he also knew that he could not kill Usopp. The other party obviously regarded him as Usopp's whetstone. He could only hope that the other party would abide by the agreement. Not long after Zangao left, the sound of a big battle came from the woods again. It seemed that the battle was a bit intense. While watching the battle, Yi Shang Cho distracted himself and began to merge part of the Kana gene. It was not a solution to suppress it all the time. He could only merge it slowly. Hmm. Such a huge amount of knowledge, what's going on? 
Yi Shangcho felt something was wrong when the fusion started. Gene fusion actually brought a huge amount of knowledge, which almost made Yi Shangcho feel like his brain exploded. But why didn't Qiang Wei's genes have this? Yi Shangcho quickly sorted out the thoughts in his head. She, he breathed a sigh of relief after a long time. Huh, gene implantation technology. It feels like such an evil method. Is it possible to upgrade to a divine body? Unfortunately, my current genes simply cannot naturally upgrade to a divine body. Where can I find a nuclear bomb at this time? And I can't upgrade to a divine body. Yi Shangcho sorted out the things that appeared in his mind, but only a few of them were complete systems, the others were fragments and a mess, and this Jana gene was not as powerful as he thought. Jana's strengths were this huge amount of knowledge and the ability to heal people. Forget it, I was too greedy, it seems that I have to collect some modern weapon cards in the future. Yi Shangcho sighed, this Jana's gene help is really too little. While Yi Shangcho was organizing his knowledge, the battle over there was over. Zhang Gao was knocked to the ground, and Yusop on the other side also fell down helplessly. Zhang Gao obviously held back, after all, with Yi Shangcho here, he didn't dare to kill him. Yi Shangcho saw that it was almost over, and he jumped to the two people. He came to Zhang Gao's side. Zhang Gao was not unconscious yet, but he was obviously injured and couldn't stand up at all. You did a good job. Although I am not very satisfied, I have tried my best. I will not break my promise to you. Although I am also a pirate, I still have integrity. After hearing what Yi Shangcho said, Zhang Gao fainted with relief. Yi Shangcho shook his head. He didn't expect Zhang Gao to be so relieved. Pirates may have their own advantages. Yi Shangcho looked at Zhang Gao's hat, bent down and took the card on the hat in his hand. Super God World, the first generation of nightmare demon genes, invaded the dream, want to play with other people's dreams. This so-called guy is very suitable for you, but I remind you, this this guy is a demon. And he is a funny demon. Yi Shangcho happened to have records of these things in his brain. The first generation of nightmare gene is also a kind of super gene, but it is the first generation, and there is no possibility of becoming a god. However, the nightmare gene is different from the genes of ordinary demon soldiers. It is a growable gene. This gene has the possibility of being promoted to a god body. No. This guy has no entity. Yi Shangcho looked at the card, and then looked at Zhang Gao in front of him. He had to say that they were really suitable. Zhang Gao had the ability to hypnotize, and this nightmare gene had the ability to enter dreams. The combination of the two was perfect. And the most important thing was that Yi Shangcho didn't want this nightmare gene. Yes, he didn't want it. Such a person couldn't be called a human being, and the disadvantages of this nightmare gene were too great. For Yi Shangcho, such a gene had a very high growth rate and it was easy to cover up his existing genes. Moreover, the nightmare painted on the card was too ugly, and it was the first generation. Yi Shangcho rubbed his chin. Do you want to try gene implantation technology? I always feel that it is a bit evil. Logically, I am the one who injected it, so I am his master, but this guy can't get on the ship, right? Yi Shangcho was struggling with a question, that is, whether to inject the nightmare gene into Zhang Gao's body, so that he would not have to inject this gene, and he could also get a capable subordinate. Now that he is a pirate, some things are difficult to handle, and there are some places he can't go. He hopes to arrange someone in the navy, but this Zhang Gao seems to be a pirate too, right? Forget it, keep it for now, and think about it carefully when you go back. Yi Shangcho raised his hand and a wormhole swallowed Zhang Gao, and transferred Zhang Gao to his ship. He went back to think about it carefully. He knew there would be many demons, so how to deal with these cards was a problem. It would definitely not work to inject them by himself. It would be a pity to throw them away. And there would probably be a lot of such cards in a while, which were just passers-by characters, tasteless and useless. Forget it, keep it, and treat it as your trump card, what if you need it someday? It's hard to say. Yi Shangcho still put the card away. After all, it is a super soldier's gene, and apart from the god-killing weapon, there is no obvious weakness, not as big as the devil fruit. After doing all this, Yi Shangcho glanced at Yusop, who also had a card on him. Yi Shangcho pulled Yusop to pull him up and put the card away. Hawkeye Gene. Possesses powerful bow and arrow shooting ability. Notes. 
will not mutate, will not spend money, has no superpowers, is not a god, and is not beautiful. How embarrassing. Yi Shangcho glanced at Usopp who barely stood up. How could such a card appear? Yi Shangcho saw that Usopp's slingshot ability was not weak before, and he was expecting to get a super god gene. He didn't expect such an embarrassing character to appear. He could be called the protagonist, but he only appeared as a minor soldier. It can be said that he was a very embarrassing person. Then this Usopp. Are you okay? Yi Shangcho was a little worried when he saw the other person staggering. This physical condition was also a big problem. It's okay, it's nothing, I'm the great Captain Usopp, I've defeated 10,000 people like him. Usopp raised his hand to show how powerful he is, but can you stop shaking? Oh. Yi Shangcho was too lazy to pay attention to this guy. Everyone can brag. After all, Zhang Gao is the deputy captain and his strength is not bad. It is not certain whether there are 10,000 people in the entire East China Sea to defeat 10,000 people. Ah, help. Yusop found himself being swallowed by a wormhole and hurriedly called for help. Yi Shangcho rolled his eyes, opened the wormhole and jumped in himself. What is that? Yi Shangcho grabbed a person fiercely. He saw a familiar face. Isn't this the Klo who was showing off just now? In a blink of an eye, the two came to the place where Luffy and the others were fighting. At this time, Zoro was already resting on the side, and the cat brothers were already lying on the beach, turning from a cat into a salted fish. Luffy also ended his battle, and Klo also turned into a salted fish. Nami took all the treasures on the opponent's ship. When they came over, Luffy was just about to throw Klo out, and he threw it right in front of Yi Shangcho. Yi Shangcho looked at Klo in his hand, and took the card on Klo by the way. It was just a footwork, Ling Yunzong, close double angle bracket. There are too many shattered worlds, is even the martial arts world shattered? Yi Shangcho muttered to himself, and threw Klo out. He had no interest in this person. A pirate actually gave up his identity as a pirate and started to rob the inheritance. The pirates were embarrassed. And there was a footwork secret book on him. Take your captain and get out of here. Never come to this island again. Luffy was covered in blood, but Yi Shangcho saw that these were minor injuries for Luffy and he would be fine after a few days of rest, so Yi Shangcho was not worried. Nami, I'll leave them to you, I'd better go back first. Yi Shangcho didn't care about Luffy and the others, he was really in a bad condition now. The speed of gene fusion in his body was faster than expected. Nami also saw that Yi Shangcho's face was not right. Leave them to me, you go back first. We are enough here. Be careful, tell us if you need anything. Yi Shangcho did not open a wormhole and return to his ship directly as they thought, but rushed out directly on the sea water. He finally couldn't hold back anymore. Yi. Luffy felt bad, but he was a landlubber. Zoro was a little worried, but unfortunately he couldn't catch up with Yi Shangcho. Yi Shangcho came to an open sea and slowly got on the sea surface to feel the situation in his body. Now there was a strong force of wind accumulating in his body. Such energy could not be suppressed at all. This was the case when the genes were fused. The fusion genes would gather energy at the beginning, and this energy could easily run away. No, the number is too large. Yi Shangcho felt bad, and finally his ability exploded. Rumble. Like an explosion, Yi Shangcho sent out a huge wind force in all directions. Almost in an instant, several water columns suddenly rushed out of the surrounding sea surface. The strong wind energy blew directly in all directions. The pirate group on the island who were just about to escape were suddenly brought to the shore. This strong wind almost tore the sails of the local ships. Ah. Help. Nami and Usopp lost their balance and were blown away. Fortunately, Luffy was quick-witted and held the tree with one hand while flying out with the other hand to hold Nami and Usopp with his rubber arm. Zoro also reacted in time, unsheathed his two swords and stabbed them into the ground to stabilize himself, but even so he was blown away for a long distance. Hey, Luffy, what's going on? Is he like this every time? Isn't it too scary? Ha <laughs> ha. Yi has become stronger again, so awesome. Luffy used his hands tied to the tree to steady his hat, with an idiotic smile on his face. Nami, who is like a kite, burst out with a terrifying aura. Ah, are you all monsters? Is this really a person? I'm dead, I must be dreaming. 
The other kite Usopp is now almost in a coma, feeling his bones are soft. After a burst of energy was sent out, Yi Shangcho felt much better. The gene accumulated energy too fast, but the body could not keep up, so this happened. This is why Yi Shangcho urgently needs the high-level god gene. It is not a problem for him to accumulate energy now, but the problem is that the accumulation speed is too fast, and he can't keep so much energy. Who, who, who? Yi Shangcho stood on the sea, panting. This was really not a good thing. Originally, the speed of extracting energy with one gene was fast enough, but now the speed of extracting energy with two genes was even faster. It seemed that he had to think of a way. I hope no one was hurt. Yi Shangcho glanced at the coast, opened the wormhole and jumped back to his ship. The previous gene was easy to start, so it made a lot of noise, but it was easier to deal with later. He didn't dare to fuse the super god gene again. It was so dangerous. He even wondered if he would explode and die. Finally, the sea was calm. The black cat pirates ran away as if they had seen a ghost. As for their vice captain, they didn't care at all. Nami and Usopp finally fell from the sky. The two of them collapsed to the ground in shock. Usopp lay on the ground motionless, and Nami sat weakly. Monsters. Why am I associated with these people? Nami had some good feelings towards Yi Shangcho before. After all, they are pirates, but these guys have never done anything like pirates, and they are obviously pirates who have just set sail. But now she began to worry about her own safety. What if Yi Shangcho goes berserk, can they withstand it? Yi Shangcho returned to his ship and looked at the guy in front of him. His name was Zhang Gao. This guy also woke up and found himself in a strange place. Don't mention how worried he was. Unfortunately, his body couldn't move yet. At this time, Yi Shangcho came back and took a look at Zhang Gao. Didn't you say you would let me go? Zhang Gao looked at the boy in front of him. He realized that even a newly departed pirate was still a pirate. Was he too naive to actually believe the other party? Don't worry, I still have some integrity. I asked you to come here so that you can make a choice. Yi Shangcho had a headache about that card before, and now it is even more of a headache. He must not fuse it, at least not now, so he might as well let the guy in front of him choose. Do I have a choice? Zhang Gao smiled bitterly. He said it was a choice, but now he really had no choice but to obey. No, you have a choice, this is true, even if you don't choose I won't kill you, but don't you want to listen to what the choice is? Yi Shangcho didn't want to break his promise. These pirates also have their advantages. At least their methods are enough, and they have no moral integrity. Zhang Gao smiled helplessly. Ha ha, tell me. Do you want power? The same power as mine. Yi Shang Cho took out the card, but the other party couldn't see it. Devil fruit. Are you willing to give it to me? What's the price? Zhang Gao was excited when he heard it. The secret treasure of the sea, the devil fruit, even the worst devil fruit is worth hundreds of millions, and there is no place to buy it. Especially in a place like the East China Sea, there are very few people with special abilities. Yi Shangcho pinched his chin. Almost, the price is your loyalty. Yi Shangcho would not be stupid enough to tell this guy that it is not a devil fruit, at least not now. If he told this guy, he would only die. The super god gene is his biggest trump card, and it is not certain that something will happen if he tells it. Ha ha, ha ha ha, you actually still believe in the loyalty of pirates. How ironic. Zhang Gao laughed. In this day and age, there are actually guys who believe in the loyalty of pirates. There is not so much loyalty on the sea. Yi Shang Cho looked at the cards. No, I don't believe it. If you choose, I will naturally find a way to get your loyalty. You don't have to worry about these. The problem is how you choose. I won't force you, and of course I won't use that kind of threatening method to control you. You can rest assured about this, but you have to listen to my orders at critical moments. At other times, you are still free. After all this talk, what is your choice? Haha, ha, if you are confident, why do you ask me? After all, I still have no choice, right? Well, dot you really do have one, and I let you choose because I can't make a choice myself, otherwise I wouldn't come here to ask you. Judging from the way you are now, if I had thought it through, would you still be here talking to me? Are you kidding? Really? Of course, you can't stop me from doing anything I want to do, let alone the current situation. 
It's useless for you to stand in front of me. You should know my strength. Yi Shangcho shrugged. He had no choice. He really didn't know what to do. Okay, give it to me. I hope you won't regret it. Zhang Gao is trying his best now. He knows his situation. He will never be able to achieve anything high or low by relying on the ability of hypnosis. As for the devil fruit, they haven't had one in all these years. Even if they really find a devil fruit, it is still unclear whether he, the vice captain, can get it. Well, as expected, that's fine. Yi Shangcho gently waved the card, and a little fire came out of his hand. This time it's not about refining, just extracting the genes inside, and then using a special method to inject the genes into the other party's body. It's very simple. Morgana transformed a village with just one move. Although he got the method from Kana, it shouldn't be a problem for only one person. Bring it here. I've been wanting to taste the devil fruit for a long time. I heard it tastes like shit. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's not a devil fruit. The shortcomings of that kind of thing are too obvious. What I use is something more advanced than the devil fruit, the gene of God. Although it is also a devil. Yi Shangcho grabbed the extracted gene in his hand and injected it directly into Zhang Gao's body using a special method. Zhang Gao struggled painfully on the ground for a while, and then seemed to fall asleep. Yi Shangcho observed for a while, found a place to sit down, and while observing Zhang Gao's situation, he integrated his own genes, because there were still too many things involved. Generally speaking, gene implantation technology will directly integrate the genes of the other demon, that is, the memory is also integrated, and it just occupies the person's body for transformation, but now the first generation of genes will not have such a situation, and the world is broken, these have become blank templates, and the previous replacement situation will not happen. But put I can't bear it. After a while, Yi Shangcho couldn't wait any longer, and slowly began to close his eyes to merge. Zhang Gao now felt like he was dreaming, with a lot of things and knowledge in it, and he didn't know why, he suddenly felt that Yi Shangcho was his king, and he was his subordinate, and he slowly accepted this idea. Finally, the dream was over, and Zhang Gao slowly woke up, and found that his body had recovered without knowing when, and his strength seemed to be even greater. Thinking of the things in his dream, Zhang Gao closed his eyes, and slowly felt that his soul suddenly left his body, floating in the air in the dark, and could even fly. How do you feel? Yi Shangcho slowly opened his eyes and saw the dark mass. It was very different from the nightmare on the card. It still looked like Zhang Gao, but there were some changes. Some black mist was floating around. I feel very good, my king. What do you want me to do? Nightmare Zhang Gao is willing to serve you. Zhang Gao's soul was very polite, kneeling on one knee and taking off his hat to salute. Very good, I believe you should know more about nightmares than me now. I need you to infiltrate the navy. There is nothing else to do. With your current strength, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Yi Shangcho also smiled happily. This is the difference between gene implantation and Yi Shangcho's gene fusion. After gene implantation, the demon's strength will be retained to a certain extent, and some things can be used directly, but his fusion is different. The process is very slow, but fortunately the mind will not be affected, while the demon's gene implantation will affect a person's mind. I am willing to serve you, my master. Nightmare Zhang Gao will always be your most loyal warrior. Zhang Gao nodded and returned to his body. He felt different now. Nightmare's genes were prepared for him. The effect of his hypnosis would be more obvious, and he could enter dreams at will. He could control dreams and read a person's dreams. He would know everything that this person experienced, and he could influence a person imperceptibly. Zhang Gao's soul returned, and his body slowly stood up and saluted Yi Shangcho. Okay, come to me anytime if you need anything, but don't let anyone find out. The rest is up to you, Zhang Gao, don't let me down. Yi Shangcho was very happy. In the future, he would know the intelligence of the navy. Most importantly, Zhang Gao could take charge of the difficult problem of interrogation. This combination of abilities was simply unsolvable. You are my king, and I look forward to your call. Zhang Gao walked out step by step with an elegant pace. The joy on his face could not be concealed. Yi Shangcho was not stingy either, and gave Zhang Gao some of the treasures he needed. The small boat beside was also driven away by Zhang Gao. Now there are more people, and they don't care about a small boat. 
doesn't he still have a dying seagull in his hand? Besides, Luffy is also looking for a boat. These two small boats will be abandoned sooner or later. Watching Zhang Gao's departure, Yi Shang Cho began to fuse his genes again. It took Yi Shang Cho three days to complete the fusion. He could barely control Kana's genes, and he could do it slowly in the future. There is no need to rush for these things, as long as he doesn't run away. Luffy and his friends have come over several times in the past few days to bring some food to Yi Shang Cho. These are the habits developed by Luffy and Ace. They bring some back to Yi Shang Cho after dinner, and ask for living expenses several times. At other times, they try not to disturb Yi Shang Cho. In fact, Yi Shang Cho also stored some food in the wormhole, but since Luffy and his friends were kind enough to send it here, Yi Shang Cho was not polite. He saved as much as possible from the things in the wormhole, just in case they could be used someday. Three days later, Yi Shang Cho wanted to see why they hadn't set sail yet. Luffy told Yi Shang Cho that they should wait for the ship. Kaya said that she would send them a ship. Luffy and the others were also happy to wait for their ship. Yi Shang Cho also took this opportunity to stroll around. It was a rare leisure time. He had not had a good rest for such a long time at sea. He sorted out his gains by the way. Regardless of the current embarrassment, there was still a character card, but Yi Shang Cho didn't want to give it to Usopp. He was bored and collected some cards, but they were all messy things, weapons, food, and a lot of items. Yi Shang Cho threw them all into his wormhole. Unfortunately, he didn't find anything valuable, which disappointed Yi Shang Cho for a long time, so he could only go fishing at sea and practice his wind ability by the way. But this ability was really disappointing, it was really a little weak. Finally, three days passed and everyone was ready. Yi Shang Cho was still in the same situation, waiting for his genes to come little by little, but the time might be shorter than he thought before. The four people looked at the exquisite boat in front of them, the exquisite triangular sail, and the small warship. It was actually an exaggeration to call it a warship. There were only two cannons on the whole ship, and they were small cannons. They were not too big. The bow looked like an exquisite sheep's head, which looked very cute. It looked a little small, but it was enough for the pirate group with only four people. The rudder was not placed on the deck like other ships, but there was a special control room. The place was actually enough. The ship also designed a conference room, which was where they steered, as well as boys' rooms, warehouses, etc., which was rich. Kaya's butler bowed and introduced the ship with standard gentleman etiquette. This ship was their official pirate ship. Thinking about it, I was a little moved. They had fought a lot since they went to sea, but the ship was only solved now. One of the two small boats was the one that Nami tricked from the buggy pirates. How pitiful. Yi, look, look, we have a pirate ship. It's so beautiful. Luffy pulled Yi Shang Cho so excitedly. Yi Shang Cho knew what Luffy meant. On the one hand, he was really happy, and on the other hand, he wanted Yi Shang Cho not to pursue the mistake of giving the ship away before. Well, it's good, we finally look like pirates. Yi Shang Cho also likes the pirate ship very much. No matter how cute it is, now we finally have a decent ship and don't have to use those small fishing boats anymore. Ah, help, help me stop. At this moment, a huge green ball rolled down from the top of the mountain at a very fast speed, and its target was exactly their new ship. Zoro glanced at the person hanging on the package. Hey, if this goes on, it will definitely hit the ship, right? What is he doing? Never mind, help him stop first. Luffy looked at Usopp who was coming over. Their ship was a new one, and it hadn't been launched yet. What if it got hit and broke? As they spoke, the two of them raised their feet to help the big ball stop, but they didn't know why Usopp's point was so accurate. The two of them kicked Usopp on both sides of the face, and Usopp also stopped and looked at the two of them, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Luffy and Zoro acted as if they had done nothing. Thank you for your care these days. I have decided to go out to sea. I hope we can meet on the sea in the future. Usopp said to Luffy as if he was saying goodbye. Baka, what are you talking about? Am I not a companion? Luffy interrupted Usopp and pulled Usopp to look at Yi Shang Cho. Yi, this is the sniper I found, his father is Jesus B.U. Jesus, whatever you like. Yi Shang Cho shook his head indifferently, he didn't think much of the position of sniper. It was okay if Luffy liked to keep him for fun. 
After all, the sea doesn't care about sniping now, and the bullets used now are round. And this Usopp used a slingshot. How powerful this thing can be. It was also because Yi Shangcho was not used to the world of pirates. His concept of slingshots was still stuck at shooting birds, children's toys. So Yi Shangcho didn't feel anything about Luffy inviting Usopp on board. Luffy just liked to keep him for fun. So Usopp got on board as a matter of course, and Usopp also said goodbye to Miss Kaya. He could see Kaya's reluctance, but in this era no one could stop a man from sailing. Usopp smiled and said goodbye to Kaya. The next step was the launching ceremony. The so-called launching ceremony was to throw a wine bottle came to the ship, breaking the bottle meant they could set sail. After all, it was Kaya who gave it to them, so the opportunity was given to Kaya. However, Kaya was still sick, and the bottle was not so powerful. It hit the neck of the sheep head and did not break at all, but bounced back directly. This was not a good sign, and the ship would encounter misfortune. Yi Shangcho did have a way, but forget about these things. Since they had decided to go to sea, they had to be mentally prepared for anything. The Mary was finally launched. Kaya and housekeeper Mary waved goodbye on the side, and Usopp also waved goodbye. There seemed to be some tears in the corners of his eyes, but Usopp did not let them fall. He gritted his teeth and waved, and no one else disturbed Usopp, after all, he was about to leave his hometown. Yi Shangcho slowly came to Usopp, have you really decided? There is still a chance now. The sea will never be calm. Maybe the next time we meet will be many years later, and we may not even be able to meet. Ten years of life and death are uncertain. Ah. Is it too late for me to go back now? I have a disease that will kill me once I get on the ship. Usopp was really scared, but he didn't ask them to go back. Hey, Yi, you are the vice captain, please don't scare Usopp. Luffy ran over hurriedly. He couldn't let the vice captain scare away the sniper he had recruited with great difficulty. Zoro on the side opened his eyes. I'm not trying to scare you. The vice captain is right. Since we have decided to go to sea, we must be prepared to die. Anything can happen on the sea. Our goal is the Grand Line, a place where there is no turning back. We must either fight our way out or die in the sea. Ah, Zoro. Luffy rushed over after hearing that, and the two of them wrestled with each other. Usopp was speechless watching, didn't you come to comfort me? But I feel even more depressed, and why did you fight? Yi Shangcho glanced speechlessly at the three funny guys in front of him, turned around and looked at Nami. Hey, Nami, I'm going to take a rest, don't call me if there's nothing else. Okay, but, Nami looked at Yi Shangcho with a smile. Yi Shangcho shook his head helplessly and threw out three gold coins, this is the pocket money for the previous three days. I'll save a little bit. I'm going to rest. Yi Shangcho sighed when he went back. He was a little helpless now. He always felt that Nami had something she didn't tell him, but Nami didn't want to say it, so they couldn't ask. After all, everyone has their own secrets. Yi Shangcho went back to develop his own fighting moves. The previous wormhole was not completed yet, and now there is another wind ability, which is annoying. Moreover, these two abilities are very strong, but the difficulty of development is also relatively large. Yi Shangcho didn't have any good ideas, after all, he was not familiar with his current abilities. Since he couldn't think of a way to develop them, the key was that they were being integrated during this period, so he just followed everyone to make trouble. Usopp was still good, at least he was a good person who livened up the atmosphere. It had not been long since he got on the ship, but now he had become friends with Luffy. This was good, at least Luffy could have a playmate on the ship. Bored, Yi Shangcho also walked around the ship, after all, this was their first ship, and he didn't have a good look around after he got on. He took this opportunity to get familiar with it. You don't know until you take a look, and you really found a lot of good things. But there is no rush for these for the time being. Yi Shangcho found that Nami had been staring at him since he came out. Staring at Yi Shangcho was very uncomfortable. I felt that the whole person was not good, and the key was that this guy seemed to have some kind of light flashing in his eyes. Finally, Yi Shangcho couldn't help it. Asshole, have you had enough? Are you going to molest me with your eyes? Hey, what are you talking about? Nami suddenly became sharp-tongued. Zoro said on the side, 
I think Yi Shangcho is right. Your eyes seem to be pulling him out. What did you say? Nami turned around and stared at Zoro fiercely. Quote. Isn't it? Ah, Nami, I will chop you up sooner or later. Zoro was no match for Nami at all. He squatted on the ground with a huge bump on his head. What did you say? Nami stood behind Zoro, half of her face was black. Even Yi Shangcho was trembling when he saw her. He shook his head helplessly, thinking it would be better not to confront Nami head on. Then he patted Nami's shoulder. Nami immediately showed a beautiful smile and looked at Yi Shangcho. Yi Yi. Yi Shangcho pushed Nami's face away and said, if you want to say something, just say it. I don't have a granddaughter as old as you. That, pocket money for the next few days. Yi Shangcho also frowned. They hadn't gotten off the ship for the past few days, so there was no place to spend money. Is Nami out of money again? Impossible. Yi Shangcho always felt that Nami seemed to have a special obsession with money, as if someone who was used to being poor suddenly had money, but was reluctant to spend a penny, and also felt that her money was not enough. Can you tell me why you need money so much? Nami shook her head. What I like most is money. Yi. Shangcho stared at Nami's eyes, and Nami's eyes were a little evasive. Yi Shangcho suddenly smiled, then sat on the railing, looking at Nami who was a little restrained beside him. I have a lot of money, more than you can imagine. How much do you need to be satisfied? How much do you need to solve your problems? This sea is never determined by money. This sea is always supported by fists. Yusuf suddenly said, Hey, Luffy, Yi Shangcho is very rich. Well, very rich, at least with a few gold mountains. Jin Shan, are you kidding? Yes, it can't be eaten. Luffy looked indifferent. He knew that Yi Shangcho was rich a long time ago. But it was useless for them to ask for money. In the eyes of the brothers, the money was useless. Hearing this, Nami's eyes lit up. Lend me 50 million baileys. Yi Shangcho said indifferently, it's just 50 million, a small amount of money, but I can give you the money, can you keep it? I'm sure I can. Oh. Yi Shangcho opened the wormhole, took out a bag of gold and gave it to Nami. The gold here should be worth 100 million. I lent it to you. Thank you. Nami wrapped the gold directly. Not long after she put it in her arms, a dagger suddenly pressed against Nami's neck. Nami was completely frozen. What are you doing? Do you regret it? Regret? No, I have already lent it to you. Before Nami could breathe a sigh of relief, she heard a voice like a devil. I'm a pirate, and now I'm robbing. Ah. Nami pulled out her short stick and started to fight back. Isn't this cheating? But Nami's counterattack was not powerful at all. The short stick was directly broken by Yi Shangcho. The dagger in his hand also cut Nami's skin. I'm not kidding. Aren't you just not going to lend it to me? Don't talk nonsense, I lent you 100 million baileys. Yi Shangcho put all the gold away again. Then he continued, now you owe me 100 million baileys. You are robbing. Yes, you misunderstood something. I am a pirate. Isn't it normal for me to rob? My fist is bigger than yours, and I have the final say. Now not only the gold is mine, but you are mine too. What do you mean, do you still want to rape her? Yusop was shocked. Yi Shangcho looked at Nami with contempt and said, forget about this little girl who hasn't opened her mouth yet. Don't you have any moral principles? What morality do pirates have? Hey, Yi. Luffy spoke at this time. Pirates cannot attack their companions. She is not. Luffy scratched his head. No matter what, she is my navigator. Okay. Yi Shangcho put away the dagger and looked at Nami calmly. I don't mean anything else, I just want to tell you that you can't protect anything in this sea without power. Just like Usopp can't protect Kaya. Baka, I protected Kaya. Haha, ha, as long as you are happy. Yi Shangcho then opened his wormhole. He took out the bag of gold and handed it to Nami. You are smart, but you are weak. You used your wisdom to get a lot of treasures. But people who are stronger than you don't care at all. Because with just one word, your things are no longer yours. Yi Shangcho didn't actually intend to trick Nami. He just told her a truth. Money is money only when people recognize it. If they don't recognize it, it is nothing. The essence of money is a general equivalent. If everyone wants, this thing can be gold, bailey, or waste paper. The strong make the rules, and the weak can only abide by them. 
Nami held the gold in a daze, and no one knew what she was thinking. Yi Shangcho saw Yusuf suddenly remembered something. By the way, can Yusuf use a bow and arrow? Yes, I can. I'm a sniper. Of course I can do these things. So, you want power? Of course. This battle made Yusuf feel powerless. Facing the black cat pirates, he simply did not have much strength to resist. Although he defeated the hypnotist, he knew that it was because of Yi Shangcho's intimidation that the other party did not dare to kill him. Then come in with me. Yi Shangcho turned and walked into the cabin. Yusuf thought about it and went in. Yi Shangcho took out Hawkeye's card. In any case, Hawkeye is much stronger than the current Yusuf. The key is the combat experience and so on. Yi Shangcho never thought of giving himself a Hawkeye template or something. Yi Shangcho refined the card and then directly put it into Usopp's head. Usopp exclaimed and fainted. This is not a gene implantation technology. This is the ability given to him by the god himself, and he also refined the card in this way. The advantage of this is that they will not be affected by the personality of the card character. You are still you, but you have more abilities and experience of the card characters. This method is actually not bad. Sometimes he doesn't need a puppet. And when collecting small worlds, you may really need strong combat power, and it is not the combat power of one person. Looking at the fainted Yusuf, Yi Shangcho grabbed his nose and threw him aside. Then he turned and went out, and saw Nami standing on the deck. Nami seemed to be thinking about something, with the bag of gold at her feet. Yi Shangcho did not disturb her. Looking at Zoro who was exercising, his eyes fell on Zoro's sword involuntarily. He remembered the man carrying the cross before. Zoro also noticed this scene, and said, Why is the deputy captain interested in my sword? Yi Shangcho hesitated and asked, You know the sword with a black blade, it's called the Supreme Great Sword Twelve Workers Knight or something, it seems to be this name. Zoro's exercise movement paused for a moment, and he almost sprained his waist. Then he stared at Yi Shangcho fiercely, Have you seen that sword? No, have you seen that man? You mean, the guy with the weird hat. You really saw it. Just saw it not long ago. Is he in the East China Sea? What else? At this time, Luffy asked with a smile, do you know Zoro? He is your friend. No, it's that man, my goal at sea. Zoro was very excited, and it was obvious that he couldn't suppress himself. His whole body was almost in a vibrating mode. Zoro is broken. Luffy looked at Zoro and almost punched him. Yi Shangcho asked, who is that man? The world's greatest swordsman, one of the seven warlords of the sea, Hawkeye. Zoro seems to know this person very well. Oh, did you fight with Yi? Luffy asked carelessly, and Zoro also stared at Yi Shangcho curiously. No, you were lost at that time, so I was in a hurry to find you. He is a nice uncle. But even if we didn't fight, I could feel the monster's strength. Really? That's great. Zoro became even more excited when he heard this. Then he looked at Yi Shangcho and asked, How about compared to me? Yi Shangcho looked at Zoro with contempt, How dare you? He is much stronger than you. If I take action, there will be only one result, and I will kill you in seconds. Really? Then I want to fight him even more. Hey Luffy, let's go find Hawkeye. Great. Nami was stunned when she heard this. You are not kidding, are you? That's one of the seven warlords of the sea. Nami's body seemed to tremble when she heard this title. Yi Shangcho spread his hands helplessly and said, It's no problem to find him, but the East China Sea is so big, how can we find him? I didn't ask him the destination. He looked like he was just strolling around casually. Everyone was silent after hearing this. Nami was relieved. Well, then there is no other way. Let's go find the musician. Luffy gave up looking for Hawkeye. Yi Shangcho shrugged. Zoro didn't have any good ideas either. So everyone started to return to their favorite positions again. Nami looked at Yi Shangcho and wanted to ask something, but she didn't say it. Seeing that the other party didn't want to say it, Yi Shangcho didn't step forward to ask. It's better to let the parties think about these things clearly. Yi Shangcho was also ready to find his own position. Then he found the position of the mast. He thought this position was good. If he moved it a little, he could let the sail block the sun for him. Then about an hour later, Yusuf came out sleepily. I slept so comfortably. 
No, I felt like I had a nightmare for a long time. Usopp didn't know what happened to him. He felt like he had experienced countless battles. But he couldn't remember what it was. Hmm. Zoro, who was exercising, took a look at Usopp and felt that Usopp was a little different. His eyesight was a little sharper now, and his posture and other movements were much cleaner. He looked like a warrior who had experienced many battles. At this moment, a dagger flew quickly towards Usopp, like a black light. Small. Zoro had just warned him but suddenly stopped talking before he could finish his words. Because Zoro saw Usopp leaning back in one hand directly grasping the handle of the dagger. Usopp even subconsciously closed his eyes during this process. Usopp was also startled. He threw the dagger on the ground and said, Are you going to kill me? You are not dead, do you feel different? Yi Shangcho looked at Usopp with a smile. Usopp tilted his head and thought about something. Mom, if I were to say what is different, it seems that there is really a difference, but I can't explain the details, it's like the body has its own memories. Of course, you haven't fully developed your abilities. Your current body is no different from that of a battle-hardened warrior. At least your body has memorized these things, and it's up to you to decide how to use them. Yi Shangcho stood up, then took out a set of bows and arrows and handed them to Usopp. Usopp didn't have time to think about anything, as if his body reacted faster than his consciousness. He caught the bow and arrow and held it in front of him, put the quiver in the air on his back, and pulled out an arrow, put it on the bow, and aimed. These actions were completed almost within a second. Then the arrow was pointed at Yi Shangcho. So fast. Zoro was shocked by this quick and neat movement. Not to mention Zoro, even Usopp himself was confused. He hurriedly put down the bow and arrow, but he didn't expect that he would subconsciously hit his back. Usopp looked at Yi Shangcho in surprise. No, I didn't mean to do that. Let me explain. You still haven't controlled your body habits. Take your time, you will get used to it. Yi Shangcho did not make things difficult for Usopp, he knew that all this was a subconscious action. After Yi Shangcho finished speaking, he began to add again, by the way, the power I gave you is the ability of a super sniper. He was once considered the strongest sniper. He was also a master of tactics and flying props. His strength is pretty good, too. You should train well. Nami seemed to have thought of something, is it that simple? How can it be that simple? The ability I gave him is just for growth, and how the rest of his future will develop depends on him. If he can exert 100% of his strength, then his future will not be too weak. Yi Shangcho shook his head, how could it be that simple? After all, it's just a template, proving that you have this possibility in the future, but how to do it is still your business. It's like Hawkeye uses a bow and arrow. If Usopp doesn't like bows and arrows, he can use a slingshot. Usopp suddenly thought of something, looked at Yi Shangcho and said, Hey, I have a lot of ideas, give me my things. Yi Shangcho opened the wormhole and handed Usopp everything he wanted. Usopp took the things and went directly into the cabin. Nami suddenly asked, I mean, if, if he can exert the ability you mentioned, how strong would he be? How strong is he? How do we define this? Yi Shangcho didn't know how to define it. Zoro said, let's just take the bounty pirates as an example. Nami nodded. Yi. Shang Cho thought for a while and said, let's not talk about anything else, just the East China Sea, there shouldn't be anyone who can match him. Except for those with natural fruit abilities, but as long as the weapons are well equipped, it's not certain whether they can be his opponents. What about the millions of pirates? Nami asked. Yi. Shang Cho looked at Nami with contempt. What's that look in your eyes? Yi Shangcho rubbed the big bump on his head. Asshole, you idiot, bounty doesn't represent strength, right? Bounty is based on the degree of harm. Besides, millions of pirates, do you look down on us? A guy like that, I can crush him to death with one hand. Slow down your bragging, Nami said unconvinced. Bragging, who the hell are you looking down on? Yi Shangcho said as he jumped onto the deck and punched the sea. Bang! A water column of more than 10 meters rushed into the sky, and the boat swayed in the sea. Oh, the boat is going to capsize. Zoro was almost hurt by the sudden shake. Yi Shangcho jumped off the boat in a hurry, then stepped on the water to the edge, holding the Mary in both hands and running wildly in the sea. 
After a few minutes, Yi Shangcho finally let go of the boat and breathed a sigh of relief. I'm so angry that I'm confused. Yi Shangcho jumped onto the boat and found that Sauron and the others were lying on the deck. I'm going to chop you up. Zoro said as he was being held by a huge barbell. Usopp was completely black, as if he had been blasted by a cannon. I'm sorry. Yi Shangcho decisively admitted his mistake. It was this attitude that made people want to kill him even more. Zoro pushed the barbell away and rushed forward. He chopped with a knife. Originally, I thought Yi Shangcho would dodge. But I didn't expect that Yi Shangcho had no intention of dodging at all. But it was too late to put away the knife at this time. The key point was that Yi Shangcho raised one hand and blocked it with his forearm. With a clang, Zoro was dumbfounded. Luffy smiled and pressed his straw hat with one hand. Nami and Usopp were dumbfounded. Hey, you are joking. Usopp was really worried. Nami was not worried, she looked at Yi Shangcho stupidly. Because Yi Shangcho's forearm easily blocked Zoro's sword. And it didn't seem that Zoro's sword hurt Yi Shangcho at all. Zoro was also dumbfounded, because he knew how fast his sword was. Even if Wado Ikimanji didn't swing hard, it could easily cut off the human body with a little strength. But now, not even a hair was hurt. Yi Shangcho said with a relaxed look, when you officially enter the realm of swordsmen, you may be a threat to me. How could you do that? Zoro was in a bad state, and then he said, even if I haven't entered the realm of swordsmanship, but my sword will leave marks even on steel. Although Zoro has not entered the realm of cutting iron yet, it does not mean that he cannot cut iron. Ordinary people can cut thicker wires with a kitchen knife. Yi Shangcho gently pushed Zoro's knife away with his fingers, and said with a relaxed face, I am a divine body. It is much harder than steel. Unless there is a certain amount of damage, or I have a god-killing weapon, I can be immune to most of the damage. Yi Shangcho sat aside with a relaxed face and said, Moreover, even if I am injured, I can use energy to quickly restore my body, even if it is a fatal injury. In other words, if I want, I can cut myself in half and put myself back together. It's just like the previous fruit of shattering, but I need to consume energy and cannot control it as freely as the other party. Zoro and the others were in a bad state. Suddenly Zoro said, isn't that what they call the natural fruit ability user? Yi Shangcho shook his head. No. Yi Shangcho had never encountered a natural type fruit before. To be honest, he was also worried about what to do if he encountered a natural type fruit. Fortunately, he also had Garp, who told him away. The natural type fruit is not invincible, nor is it immune to all damage. Speaking of which, this project should be put on the agenda. Nami suddenly thought. What about your power? It's hard to measure. You know, even the weakest first generation divine bodies have ten times the strength of ordinary people. For a third generation divine body like me, there is no way to measure my own strength. There is no reference standard at all. After all, my microwormhole gene is not good at strength in some ways. Of course, personal training is also very important. Yi Shangcho explained briefly. He found that Nami seemed very interested in this. Are you interested in this or power? This thing is actually not important, because Zoro's power alone is actually not very reasonable. No, no, there is a small island ahead. Nami suddenly changed the subject. Luffy glanced at the dark sky and said, is it this direction? It feels a little wrong. At this time, Nami suddenly took out a pile of maps. Then she took out a telescope and took a look. That direction is not wrong. Did you see anything interesting? Nami turned around and said seriously, that's the legendary treasure island. Usopp seemed to remember something, the legendary treasure island, I seem to have heard of it. Yes, that is a famous island in the pirate circle. It is accompanied by strange legends. Nami started to popularize science directly. Strange legend. Luffy seems to be interested in this island as well. That's right, anyone who approaches that island will offend the gods. At this time, the ship had sailed under the black clouds, and suddenly there was lightning and thunder. The huge lightning scared Usopp. The waves began to surge. The ship was slapped and shaken in the waves. Usopp hugged the fence and looked at the sky. Is it true? Is this the wrath of the gods? But at this time Luffy and Nami were already excited. Usopp was very scared and sat directly on the ground. 
Yi Shangcho and Zoro looked indifferent. It has to be said that Nami's navigation skills are really reliable. In such weather, the ship is still moving forward steadily. Not long after, everyone finally docked. Because the time on the boat was indeed a bit long, everyone chose to get off the boat and take a stroll. They also wanted to see what treasures were hidden on the island. A group of five people got off the boat and walked towards the depths of the forest. This island is relatively primitive, with almost no traces of human beings. The only path disappeared not far away. Luffy and Nami walked in front, followed by Zoro, and then Usopp who insisted on walking in front of Yi Shangcho. The reason it was to make Yi Shangcho feel safer to go behind. Not long after walking, Usopp discovered that there was actually a Venus flytrap here, but this Venus flytrap was a bit big and had a long tongue. It felt like a living thing, and Usopp was startled, but Yi Shangcho's eyes lit up. He found that there were really a lot of fun things on this island. And there were a lot of cards, too. Yi Shangcho took them away as soon as he saw them. Because there were so many cards, he didn't have time to look at them carefully. He has harvested a lot of cards during this period, but he hasn't had time to sort them out. It seems that he needs to find a time to sort them out a little bit. What if there are other world cards in it? Nami and Luffy in front are still chatting, mainly Nami telling the legend of this island. Legend has it that someone slept here at night and turned into a pig's head in the middle of the night. There was also a pirate whose beard grew very long and strangled himself like a snake. The others didn't care, only Usopp looked at Nami with a sullen face, you're kidding, right? Nami cutely spread her hands, well, I might have exaggerated a bit. Don't, don't scare me. Yi Shangcho glanced at Usopp and said, it's time for you to grow up. You are very powerful. That's a god. Who is not a god? Do you look down on me? Yi Shangcho rolled his eyes, then turned around and continued to collect cards. Several people were used to it. They couldn't see the cards, but they still understood the general situation. Then Yi Shangcho found that pairs of shining eyes appeared in the woods. Others didn't notice it. Zoro yawned. Ah, I'm hungry, I want to sleep. Zoro lay down directly. How can you sleep in such a weird place? Nami also complained. Indeed, what's wrong with his nerves? On the other side, Luffy squatted on the edge of the grass, looking at the strange thing in front of him. This thing has rabbit ears, a snake body, a wolf head, and white hair on its body. Is this a rabbit cheating, or a worm cheating? Yi Shangcho was also curious, these things in front of him were too weird. Ah. At this time, Usopp and Nami finally found something wrong. The key is that they were really scared. The fox has a cock comb and a rooster tail. The bat has a panda body. The two were in a mess. Yi Shangcho grabbed the strange bat in his hand. After studying it up and down, he said, it looks like this. There are no signs of artificial sutures. It should be that the climate conditions of this island are different, so this strange animal appeared. This little sheik is quite cute. You are the weirdest one. Nami and Usopp complained to Yi Shangcho together. Yi Shangcho rolled his eyes and let go of the strange creature in his hand. He turned around and ran towards the other animals. When these things saw Yi Shangcho, they also ran away in a hurry. Yi Shangcho chased after them. The things on this island are really weird, but he seems to have forgotten about Luffy and the others. About half an hour later, Yi Shangcho had collected almost everything, and then he remembered. I forgot about that group of guys. Then he looked for Luffy based on the location he had given to him. On the way, he met Zoro who was wandering in the woods. Yi Shangcho watched this guy turning around in the woods for several circles. Finally, he determined that this guy should also be a person with poor direction. Yi Shangcho threw out a rope and tied Zoro up and pulled him away. They almost got lost. My goodness, there was such a big tree next to the two of them. Yi Shangcho walked on the left, and Zoro turned to the right for some reason. Fortunately, Yi Shangcho was strong, but Zoro hit the tree. In this way, the two came to Luffy and the others. Seeing Usopp drinking tea with a pink thermos, Zoro snatched the cup away without hesitation. Zoro took a breath, and when he opened his eyes, he saw a head with a lot of fluffy green hair on it, sitting on the ground with one butt. What is this thing? Nami was sweating coldly, I'd better find it sooner. Luffy explained calmly, 
the person stuffed in the treasure chest. Are you the sun in the box? Sauron complained. Yi Shangcho didn't understand what he meant. The guy in the box explained. I have been carefully cared for since I was a child. Is that possible? Don't ask me to tell you this boring joke twice. Before he could finish his words, a pair of hands grabbed his upper jaw and began to pull it out forcefully. Zoro, help me. Then Zoro also went up to help Luffy out. It hurts, what are you doing? Luffy's sad face filled down pointing triangle right triangle filled down pointing triangle. Zoro, fool. Stop it now, my head is going to fall off. Zoro and Luffy stopped only after hearing each other's screams. Luffy wiped the sweat off his forehead and said, I really can't pull it out. Okay, he's been stuck in there for too long, and his body is already connected to the box. If we really pull him out, he'll be injured, probably seriously, and it's hard to say whether he can survive. We don't have a doctor here, so let's not do it. Yi Shangcho explained to everyone. The man nodded, that's right, if I break the box, I'm afraid I'll die. Yi Shang Cho took a look at the card he found, and suddenly said, Hey, Luffy, I'm going to go out for a while. I'll leave this to you guys first. Okay. Zoro asked, where to? I don't know. Let's look at the nearby islands. I want to buy something. Nami, are there any islands nearby? Nami got excited when she heard this. Yes, there is one in the east, but it will take a day to get there. Do you want me to help you? No need. Yi Shang Cho said as he opened the wormhole and jumped in directly. Where did he go? Usopp asked curiously. Let's go to the island Nami mentioned. Luffy said indifferently. Can this thing jump so far? Zoro didn't expect it. Yi Shang Cho temporarily left the ship because he found the cards this time very interesting. Although they have not been sorted out yet, these little things are still good. So he decided to make these things, after all, it is also good to relax himself. Then he went to the island residence and the market to buy a lot of animals. Find a quiet environment and directly merge the cards with them. Half an hour later, Yi Shang Cho held a cute guy in his arms and tried hard to Rua. Who said the tough guys can't like furry things? Wow, Evie is so cute. That's right, most of the cards obtained this time are Pokemon. And Yi Shang Cho also discovered that he had Pokemon cards in his hand before. Anyway, this time the harvest is good, and there are many more cute little things this time. But these things can't seem to be taken on the ship. After all, there are still very few resources on the ship, and the space is very small. If it doesn't work, I can only go back to Kaya, or go back to places like Windmill Village, and ask them to foster them. Thinking of this, Yi Shang Cho decided to go back to Luffy first. So he took a lot of Pokemon and moved directly to the island. Yi Shang Cho's sudden appearance scared everyone. But Yi Shang Cho was scared by Luffy. Luffy is inviting the uncle to get on board. Yi Shang Cho tilted his head and looked at everyone. Did I miss any plot when I went out for a while? I missed it, and there are still a lot of them. Usopp said directly. Nami looked at Yi Shang Cho's arms and the Pokemon beside him with a happy face. Nami is a girl after all, and she still likes such things. Luffy was very happy. Meat, meat, so much meat. Yi Shang Cho's face turned green all of a sudden, and he said expressionlessly, ABO Snake uses poison needles to attack. ABO Snake opened his mouth and spit out poison needles that pierced Luffy's body. They are not meat, they are my pets, my companions. If you dare to attack them, I will kill you. Looking at the poisoned Luffy and the terrifying Yi Shang Cho, Nami, who originally wanted to come up to tease them, hid directly. Oh, quite interesting animals. Zoro also likes these little things. Especially these things can attack. On the other side, Usopp raised his hand weakly. Well, Luffy seems to be poisoned, is it okay? Let him learn his lesson. Although Yi Shang Cho said this, he still handed a bottle of antidote to Usopp. Usopp fed it to Luffy obediently. Not long after, Luffy woke up and pointed at Yi Shang Cho and cursed. Asshole, I almost got killed. It's a pity that he didn't die. Yi Shang Cho didn't feel any remorse at all. I'm going to kill you. Oh, Shelter, use the water gun. Then a stream of water appeared and hit Luffy directly into the sea. Hey. Zoro jumped into the sea to retrieve the body without thinking. In fact, it was just on the shore. 
Zoro picked up Luffy. Amazing. Usopp had never thought of such a skill. The uncle showing off the treasure chest next to him was dumbfounded. Is this guy really the vice captain? Yi Shangcho looked at the animals around the uncle and suddenly thought of something. Uncle, can you help take care of these Pokemon? It is not convenient for us to bring them on board, and with them, you can better protect the island. The uncle thought for a while and said, Okay, I plan to stay here, after all, they are my treasures. But, won't these guys attack me? Don't worry, they are actually very smart. And they are very capable. Yi Shang Cho thought this uncle was good. He could get along so well with so many animals, so he should be able to take good care of these Pokemon. Then leave it to me without worry. I will protect them even at the risk of my life. The uncle agreed readily. Hearing the uncle's agreement, Yi Shang Cho felt much more relieved. Then he went to transform some trees on the island into some edible fruits for Pokemon. After that, Yi Shang Cho placed most of the Pokemon here, and chose to take a few away. There was no other way. Yi Shang Cho's storage space could not store living things, and there were not many Poke Balls. So Yi Shang Cho could only leave with a few. Unfortunately, there was no Pikachu in it. Yi Shang Cho also gave the uncle a book about Pokemon. Everyone set sail again and stood on the deck at the bow. Yi Shang Cho said with high spirits, I am going to be a Pokemon training master. By the way, how do you train Pokemon? What are the attributes? Forget it, never mind, cuteness is the end of it. Zoro said helplessly, it's over, I'm sick again. Yi Shang Cho ignored Zoro, released Eevee and held it in his arms. It was really comfortable. The little guy was very lively, and soon he was running around on the boat. Nami and Usopp also got some food to feed the little guy. It can be seen that these two people like the little guy very much. As for Luffy and others, who cares? After Luffy knew that they were his companions, he no longer said the word eat. No one knows whether he regards them as reserved food. Sailing on the sea is extremely boring, but everyone is still in high spirits. Yi Shang Cho looked up and saw the pirate flag. The standard straw hat pirate flag. Yi Shang Cho looked at it twice but was not interested. When drawing the pirate flag, Yi Shang Cho was in seclusion in the cabin. But it's boring on the ship, everyone always has to find something to kill time. Nami is playing with a few Pokemon. After all, it seems that Nami is only 18 years old now. This age is not enough for Yi Shang Cho to get married in his previous life. Although she is already an adult, she is probably still a child in everyone's eyes. Yi Shang Cho also feels the same. Although Nami is very beautiful, in his eyes she is just a little girl who has not grown up. Because of boredom, Yi Shang Cho began to sort out the cards he received during this period on the deck. Most of the cards are actually item cards. There is no way, people really don't have as many item cards. There are also many skill cards. In fact, they are called skill cards, but they are not that convenient. This card can only let you learn this skill. As for the power of this skill, it actually depends on your own ability. As for the character cards, there are only a few, but Yi Shang Cho doesn't know many of them. After all, there are quite a few characters. He gave Usopp a character card because he felt that Usopp didn't know anything, and he was only good at sniping. But Yi Shang Cho was not sure what Zoro and the others needed, so he could only wait and see. It would be good to provide them with help when they find their shortcomings. It should be said that this is the best. Yi Shang Cho didn't put items in advance for many item cards, which saves space. Usopp and Luffy are competing on the rear deck. It's just firing cannons to see who can shoot more accurately. There is a towering reef not far away from them, and the two of them are targeting that thing and the cannon has not been used since the ship went to sea. Taking this opportunity, they are also killing time, and the two are competing in the back. But how could a guy like Luffy be better than Usopp? Luffy was far behind the first time. But Usopp is a sniper, and he bombed the reef with one shot. This time even Usopp himself was shocked. This result was something he didn't expect at all. But Luffy directly decided that Usopp would be the sniper. Am I not the captain? I am the captain, okay. Luffy will not give up the position of captain to anyone. Several people also came to the kitchen. Because it was time for lunch. Usopp sat down and said, 
Forget it, I'll let you take advantage, but if you can't do it well, then let me take over immediately. Of course, Luffy said indifferently. But how could Yi Shangcho let him? Hey, you can't pretend you didn't hear me, Usopp. The captain position is the most dangerous position. If you want to be a captain, when you meet a pirate group, you should go against the other captain. No matter what time, the captain can't retreat. That's right. Are you prepared to risk your life? Zoro said coldly. Zoro couldn't give in on this matter. After all, he already had two people above him. What would he be if there was another one? Just a joke. Usopp immediately backed off. Not all jokes can be made on the ship. If you say something like this again next time, I don't mind using the power of the vice captain to fight you to the death. If you succeed, you will become the captain, but if you fail, then you will be buried in this sea. There is no other way. Luffy's majesty is not enough, so this matter can only be done by himself. Other jokes can be made on the ship, but not this joke. The captain is the direction of the ship. This ship has only one direction, and that is the direction designated by Luffy. Zoro added, before challenging the vice captain, you have to challenge me. Usopp was completely autistic. Luffy didn't think it was strange, and he didn't even understand these things at all. It is not impossible to even understand it as a joke. Yi Shangcho brought the food to the table and handed it to a few people. Luffy seemed to suddenly remember something. By the way, I have been thinking that there will be a need for a position on this ship before entering the Grand Voyage. Yi Shangcho said. Of course, such a beautiful kitchen, although I can cook, but the specific nutritional balance is not good. Yes, but if you pay me, I am willing to take the job. Nami really doesn't waste any opportunity to make money. Zoro also understood, so he continued, that is an indispensable position during the journey. Right, after all, it is needed on the pirate ship, right? Luffy also got excited, and Yi Shangcho felt bad when he heard Luffy's words. Musician. Are you an idiot? Zoro couldn't help it. Everyone is talking about the chef, okay. Yi Shangcho also lowered his head. Sure enough, you will never let people down. Really? I'm so powerful. Luffy didn't understand what Yi Shangcho meant. Yi Shangcho couldn't help it anymore and punched Luffy, sending him flying. The others didn't say anything when they saw Luffy flying, as they were used to it. Come out. Ka. Dong. Bang. Puff. The people in the cabin were stunned for a moment. Why did it feel like there was someone else? Usopp and Nami hurried to the door. Sure enough, they found that there was another person outside besides Luffy. That person had tattoos on his face, wore sunglasses, and held a knife against Luffy. A nameless pirate actually wants to kill our brothers. The man roared and rushed towards Luffy. Luffy dodged in a hurry, but the fence on the deck was directly chopped off by the other party. Do you still want to kill my partner? The man did not give up and rushed over again, shouting. At this time, Zoro, who was sitting on the side, suddenly opened his eyes, this voice is so familiar. Luffy, who was confused, did not understand what the other party was saying, but this is a new ship. Luffy grabbed the other party and slammed him directly against the cabin door, and the other party lost the ability to resist. At this time, Zoro also came out. He lowered his head. What? Aren't you Johnny? Zerone recognized the dead man lying on the ground. Your friend. Yi Shangcho also came out and looked at the other person's relatively capable and clean outfit. The man also saw the figure above and felt a little familiar. He quickly stood up and looked up at Zoro. Ah. Brother Zoro. Johnny was obviously a little surprised and stood up quickly. Brother, brother, why are you on a pirate ship like this? What's wrong? Isn't Joseph with you? Zoro didn't mean to explain. Yi Shangcho looked at the damaged ship and said, My little brother, fix the boat for me. Oh. Zoro nodded directly. At this time Johnny also began to explain. It turned out that he was not looking for trouble for no reason. His partner was injured by the bombardment just now. The two of them were hiding behind the reef at the time, and then he came to make trouble. Seeing this, Yi Shangcho had no way to pursue anything. He hurriedly asked Johnny to bring Joseph over. Joseph was on a small boat. They connected the Mary with a grappling hook. Soon everyone put the injured and immobile Joseph on the deck. Johnny also saw Zoro, so his psychology collapsed all of a sudden. He cried and explained to several people, 
Joseph was fine a few days ago, but suddenly his face turned pale and he fainted several times. I can't figure out the reason at all. As a result, either his teeth began to fall out, or blood spurted out of the wound. I don't know what to do at all. Yi Shang Cho tilted his head and looked at Nami who came out. I feel this symptom is so familiar, but I can't seem to remember it all of a sudden. Nami rolled her eyes and continued to walk down. Yi Shang Cho followed him down. After all, they still had to protect the crew. What if the other party really collapsed and wanted to attack? Johnny was still explaining. When I sent him to the edge of the rock to rest, suddenly a cannon fired. It was unexpected. The two of us had no time to dodge. The shell was fired from this ship. Luffy and Usopp opened their mouths as if they understood a lot of things. The two immediately stood at attention, bent over and said sincerely, sorry, sorry. If apologies were useful, there would be no need for the Navy. Luffy and Usopp's faces turned pale when they heard Johnny's words. They really didn't mean it, but it was indeed their fault. Johnny looked at Joseph's face full of tears, who was having difficulty breathing. Brother, is this guy going to die soon? At this time, Yi Shang Cho finally remembered something, and it seemed that he really knew about this disease. At this time, Nami and Yi Shang Cho finally came to the crowd. Nami looked at the people with bad faces and said calmly, Are you idiots? Nani, what did you say? Zoro's face suddenly became ugly. Nami began to check Joseph's body. But the action was a little rough. Johnny got angry when he saw it, grabbed Nami and shouted, If you dare to fool my partner's death, I will never let you off easily. But when Johnny opened his mouth, it was like raining for Nami. Yi Shang Cho couldn't stand it anymore, and picked up Johnny. What are you doing? Yi Shang Cho threw Johnny into the sea. Go down and calm down, don't you know anything about this? Nami also said at this time, Luffy, Usopp, there are oranges in the warehouse, go and get some out. Looking at the two people motionless, Nami shouted again, are you listening? Bring it to me immediately. This time the two people with tears in their eyes heard it clearly, and rushed into the warehouse in a hurry. Yi Shang Cho also came to Joseph helplessly and looked at Nami, what's the situation? It's not serious, it was discovered in time. Nami stood up slowly and wiped the saliva sprayed by Johnny on her face. Yi Shang Cho said to the two people in the warehouse, squeeze it into juice for me. Not long after, Luffy and Usopp came out, and Johnny was also pulled up by Zoro. Luffy handed the juice to Yi Shang Cho. What are you doing for me? Feed him, feed him more. This is not enough. Listening to Yi Shang Cho's words, the two of them hurriedly took action again. Johnny looked at Usopp and Luffy's busyness and finally couldn't help asking, what's going on? Nami said helplessly, it's scurvy. Scurvy. Nami explained, if there is no delay, it will be cured in a few days. Really, big sister. When Johnny got excited, it started to rain. Nami's face turned pale. Don't call me that. Nami blocked Johnny's attack and explained to them what scurvy is. Yi Shang Cho went over to check the wound on Joseph's body. Then he took out some medicine and handed it to Johnny, treat his wound later. Yi Shang Cho was going to tidy up the cabin, after all, there were wounded now. But before he had taken a few steps, Joseph behind him was already jumping around. Fortunately, within a few minutes, Joseph lay down again. Several people sent Joseph to the room to rest, and everyone came to the kitchen again. The atmosphere at the scene was not high. Everyone was shocked this time. Johnny wore a mask, one hand on his chin, and stood aside pretending to be cool. As for why he wore a mask, Yi Shang Cho gave the reason that he needed to take care of the wounded and be careful not to let the wounds get infected. Well, in fact, it was mainly because he was afraid that it would rain. Nami lowered her head to write and draw, and then said, this is a lesson. Well, there are still hidden dangers in a long voyage. Zoro was the same as always, sitting on the floor and looking at the refrigerator and talking. Does it mean to use the limited food on board to consider the nutritional balance during the long journey? Usopp also grasped the key point. Only Luffy looked up at Yi Shang Cho. Forget it. Although I can cook and have storage space, it is not enough if the distance is far, and I don't know how to match nutrition. After Yi Shang Cho finished speaking, Luffy felt disappointed. In his eyes, Yi Shang Cho is an all-round person. This is a necessary skill for sailing. 
Nami said helplessly. Luffy thought for a while and then said. Necessary skills, okay, it's a sea chef. Now it was everyone's turn to be surprised. They didn't expect Luffy to think of this aspect this time. Let's go find a sea chef. Luffy stood up and announced, slapping the table. Others agreed with him. Johnny, who had been pretending to be cool, said, if we want to find a chef like this, I know a good place. That's it, that's it, where is it? Luffy was very happy. It's very close to the Grand Route, Target, Northeast by North. The restaurant on the sea, Varati. The restaurant that Johnny mentioned is actually quite famous in the East China Sea. But no one has been there. With their guidance this time, everyone can go and have a look. So the group went straight to Bharati in the direction pointed by Johnny and with Nami's navigation skills. Sailing on the sea is boring after all, and then Zoro just aimed at Yi Shangcho and chopped him every day. At first Johnny was still very worried. After all, he was the deputy captain, and brother Zoro also admitted it. Is it really okay to do it this way? Then they saw that Zoro didn't cause any harm to Yi Shangcho at all. At this moment, Johnny and Joseph were shocked. They also fell into deep self-doubt. Can they really continue to be sea hunters with such strength? Then the two interrupted the two people's practice once and asked about this matter. They no longer have the confidence they had at the beginning. Their strength is really too poor. Zoro had no choice. He didn't know how to instruct the two people to practice. He could only let them practice by themselves, but this thing really didn't work without a master to teach. Hey, deputy captain, can you help them? Johnny and Joseph helped me before, so I owe you a favor. No way, these two people have missed the best time to lay the foundation. Yi Shang Cho glanced at the two people and said, sure, no problem. The eyes of the two people suddenly lit up. But I have conditions. After Yi Shang Cho finished speaking, the two of them hesitated, does it mean I want to become your crew member? You are not qualified. The navy in the East China Sea is too corrupt. I need you two to form a team to protect this place, whether it is the navy or the pirates. This, we would like to, but our power. Just leave these to me. Nami listened helplessly. What do you mean? Do you still want to be like a noble? Yi Shang Cho found that Nami was very angry and puzzled, but he did not ask, but said, this sea needs new justice. I don't want to see things like the town of shields. In the future, I may go to other worlds, and I also need manpower. So your task is to sort out the law and order in the East China Sea. Build the team I need. Other worlds. You don't need to know this. Yi Shang Cho looked at Johnny and Joseph. You are people recognized by Sauron, so I give you this opportunity. It is up to you to choose or not. The two hesitated for a while, and finally looked at Sauron. Big brother. He won't lie to you. The two of them felt relieved when they heard Sauron say this. If Big Brother doesn't mind, we are willing to do it. The two answered loudly. Yi Shang Cho nodded. Then he asked, Zoro, where did you learn Kendo before? Tell them when the time comes and let them learn. After all, it also requires training and exercise. Oh, I see. Yi Shang Cho waved at the two people and led them into the cabin. He took out two character cards from the space. These two cards are cards from the world of Death God. And they are official members of the Death God team, as members of the 11th Division. They are just two extras, but this team itself is a special combat unit. Even if they are official members, their strength is very good. At least in this East China Sea, they can't say they can dominate, but at least they can be regarded as top powerhouses. There is no way, the East China Sea is so weak. Although these two players are extras, it is enough. And it doesn't mean that the upper limit is like this. Maybe you can surpass the strength of the original owner. After all, who knows whether the original owner has exerted his 100% strength. Yi Shang Cho directly fused the character cards for the two people, and then it was their training. The two people have also fought, and they still have courage. It didn't take long for Yi Shang Cho to come out. About half an hour later, the two woke up one after another. When they came out, Zoro could see that the eyes of the two people were different. Zoro became interested at a glance. Come and try it. The two men drew their knives, but suddenly felt uncomfortable. Then they put them back. It's not suitable. Oh, right. Yi Shang Cho remembered the introduction of the card. The sword they can use is not the sword on their waist now. 
So he took out two cards in the space, crushed them, and two swords similar to Zoro appeared in his hands. That is the appearance of the god of death. It is not a Zanpakuto, because the gods have optimized these long ago. Because of the different reasons in the world, their souls cannot leave their bodies. First of all, they have never died, and secondly, this world is not enough to support them to move in the form of God of Death. The God of Death also needs a prosthetic body to move in the real world, but theirs is not a prosthetic body, but an original one. However, the Shikai Bankai is still there, but it is no longer for the soul. Unless you go to the underworld of this world, you will transform into that form. They will also become real Shinigami. As for how to become that, it is to use their unique aura to nourish. Just like the Shinigami's Zanpakuto uses his own soul. They also use this method, but they need an initial sword. To put it simply, they need to bind a blank weapon, and this weapon will grow with them. After the two took the sword, they began to fight with Zoro. Zoro was very surprised at this fight. These two people could actually fight back and forth with him. Although they were defeated after a few moves, it can be seen that the two people's combat experience and swordsmanship are already entry level. Not long after, Zoro knocked the two people down, the strength and physical fitness are still not good enough, and they need to train hard. Swordsmanship also needs training, not bad. Johnny lowered his head and said, well, I don't know why, I feel that I can see that the eldest brother is attacking, but my body's reaction can't keep up at all. This is the difference in physical fitness. Zoro knew it, of course. As a swordsman, he had also encountered this before. You can see where the opponent is going to attack, but you can't react. The brain can keep up, but the body can't keep up. Come train with me while you have time. Anyway, it's boring to be idle, so I decided to train with Zoro. Others had no objection, as everyone had their own things to do. Yi Shangcho was still trying to control the progress of his fusion. Nami was in the room every day, and Usopp was studying his weapons in the warehouse. Luffy sat at the bow to enjoy the scenery. Fortunately, it didn't delay the voyage. Moreover, after Joseph fused the card, his physical fitness began to improve, his wounds healed quickly, and his strength was also steadily improving. Yi Shangcho also gave Zoro some things, of course not famous swords or anything. He just gave some sword manuals and some messy schools. Anyway, he couldn't understand them. He was not interested in these schools. In Yi Shangcho's eyes, Zoro and his men were not swordsmen at all, they were more like swordsmen. Sword manuals were not like this, Nine Swords of Dugu, was called a sword manual. Zoro was overjoyed and started practicing with his two younger brothers. As for the deputy captain saying that he was a swordsman, Zoro said that sooner or later he would enter the realm of cutting iron and chop him to death. Sometimes Nami looked at the crew on the ship helplessly, what a mess they were. It didn't take a few days for everyone to finally come to the vicinity of Barati, the sea restaurant that Johnny mentioned. Yi Shangcho looked at it from a distance and thought that this place was very distinctive. The bow was shaped like a fish head, and the stern was also shaped like a fish tail. The body was a round platform with a restaurant building on it, which looked pretty good. A group of people standing on the bow were excited. Big fish. Very good. Isn't it too wild? Joseph and Johnny in the back were drooling. At this moment, a bell rang from the side. Then a warship approached. Nani, why is there a warship here? Joseph and Johnny hid in the cabin after saying this, but their heads were still exposed. Yusuf was also a little panicked. It, it's not going to attack us, right? Then sink it. Well, cut it. Yi Shangcho and Zoro began to express their opinions. Nami was helpless. At this time, a pink-haired man stood on the deck and looked at them. The man had scars on his face and wore a pair of iron knuckles on his hands. He looked at them arrogantly and said, I am the captain of the Navy headquarters, Iron Fist Hobodi. Who is the captain? Tell me your name. I am Captain Luffy. I am the vice captain Yi Shang Cho, and there is Iron Fist. Isn't that garb? Did you deprive that old man of his title? Hearing Yi Shang Cho's words, the other party's face suddenly became ugly. I haven't heard of it, what's going on? Hodibo turned around and saw Johnny and Joseph. I have seen those two over there. I remember they seemed to be a pair of bounty hunters who targeted small people. Hey, Nani. Finally caught by the pirates. 
The other party didn't hear what they said at all, and just kept talking to himself. I, we are. Yi Shangcho looked at the two men and said, kill him. Kill me, it's hilarious. Johnny took out a bunch of bounty warrants and threw them out. Do you dare to say that we are bounty hunters who target small people? But the other party didn't even look at it. When he saw a woman coming out, he hugged the woman and turned away, then said to the navy soldiers indifferently, sink them. The other side's soldiers didn't care at all and just opened fire. I'll do it. Luffy jumped out to block the cannonball. He wanted to bounce it back, but because the distance was too close, the impact of the cannonball was too great. Luffy didn't hold it firmly with one hand, and the cannonball deviated and flew directly to the roof of the sea restaurant. Hey, I'll do it. Yi Shangcho had no choice but to jump up and run towards the warship. He punched the warship. Boom. The warship was broken in half. A huge column of water shot up into the sky. The hull began to sink slowly, and all the soldiers on the ship fell into the sea. It was just that the captain had already entered the restaurant so he didn't see it. Are you a monster? Nami hurriedly controlled the ship to dodge, and she shouted with sharp teeth again. Zoro said calmly, this is a good trick, what's its name? Name. Just an ordinary punch, a flat attack. Yi Shangcho straightened his clothes and rolled his eyes. Big brother is so powerful. Johnny couldn't help but sigh. You can train seriously. Yi Shangcho turned his head and looked at Joseph's boat next to him. We are going to the restaurant and we'll bring it back to you later. You can handle these navy soldiers. Leave it to us, big brother. Well, don't kill them all. After all, they are just following orders. Screen them carefully. Yi Shangcho didn't want to kill anyone either, he just sank their boat. In fact, if you are serious, you can escape. Of course, if you can't swim and don't have a wooden board to grab, that's another story. No one will be so unlucky. Hey, let's go eat. Yi Shangcho turned around and said, and then saw Nami holding a bounty order, which seemed to be called something like Evil Dragon, with a bounty of more than 20 million. Then he found that Luffy was missing. Um, where's Luffy? Has he gone up yet? Ah, uh, they were caught, and it seems they are from the restaurant. Usopp pointed at the restaurant on the sea and said. Forget it, let's go over there too. Yi Shangcho didn't care. Several people rode a boat to the restaurant on the sea. As soon as Yi Shangcho and his friends arrived at the door, they saw Chong Wei beating Lai Fu. No. It was a man in a black suit who was beating the captain just now. The captain was still unconvinced and muttered with blood on his head, what kind of store is this? Why would they treat customers like this? I will destroy this kind of store. Contact the government immediately, I want to destroy this place. Listening to his words, Yi Shangcho said, so sometimes I really don't like these navy and so on. It's better to feed the fish. The man in the black suit had a very ferocious face, then I will just get rid of you here. The captain was finally scared. Sitting on the ground, he moved back in fear. Then several chefs ran up to stop the man in the black suit. Stop it, chef. No, he makes me mad. Don't stop, he's a customer. Stop it, you're going too far, Sanji. The man in the black suit was still unwilling to give in and wanted to kill the other person. At this moment, the ceiling suddenly collapsed, and Luffy and an old man fell down. The scene finally became quiet. That, I said. Everyone turned their eyes to Yi Shangcho, who said, you don't have to kill him, just throw him out. His ship has been sunk by me, unless he can swim to a nearby island. The scene became even quieter. At this time, a navy man with blood on his head ran over and said, Captain, Captain, this is bad. Our warship has been sunk, and the pirate clique's men have escaped. How is it possible? How could they sink our warship? And when we caught him three days ago, he was almost starving to death. We didn't give him anything to eat afterwards. The captain seemed to have thought of something horrible. The customers at the scene have become noisy. What, click? Isn't that the strongest pirate group in the East China Sea? Nami and the others all looked at Yi Shangcho. Is this what you did? Yi Shangcho spread his hands helplessly. I was passively counter-attacking. Before Yi Shangcho finished speaking, a gunshot was heard and the reporting navy soldier fell down. Then a man with short hair appeared and walked directly to the restaurant. Nami looked at Yi Shangcho. What will we do if you let such a terrifying person out? 
That is the strongest pirate group in the East China Sea. Stop shaking, I feel dizzy. Yi Shangcho broke free from Nami's hand that was holding his collar. After tidying himself up a bit, he said. Do you have a misunderstanding about strength? Looking at the confused eyes of everyone, Yi Shangcho said again, the East China Sea is the weakest. Theoretically, as long as there is a lieutenant general in the headquarters, one person and one sword, they can cut down the entire East China Sea. If the strength is stronger, the colonel can do this job. If there is a good devil fruit, the lieutenant colonel can see if he thinks he can do it. Then what? There is no major here, not even a lieutenant colonel. Nami looked at Yi Shangcho. Yi Shangcho dusted off his non-existent self and said, Unfortunately, I think I can do it too. Zoro looked at Yi Shangcho and said, Are you serious? And the navy is so strong. Very strong, the vice admiral is the backbone of the navy. You will know when you fight. Have you ever fought? I was beaten. I didn't win, and it hurt a lot. Yi Shangcho shuddered as he spoke. Did you manage to escape? I can't say I escaped, and I took revenge on them. Yi Shangcho said viciously. So, it's just a matter of one punch. Yi Shangcho found a random seat and sat down. However, while they were chatting, something happened over there. Click's men had been thrown out. You're not bragging, are you? You are bragging, Nami, you are looking down on me, do you want to make a bet? What are you betting on? Yi Shangcho looked at Nami and looked her up and down for a while. What's that look in your eyes? Why do I feel contempt? You feel right, what can you bring out to bet? Nami gritted her teeth, as if she really had nothing to bring out. Yi Shangcho spread his hands. At this time Luffy suddenly said, I want you to be my navigator. Nami gritted her teeth, as if weighing something. After a while, Nami seemed to have made up her mind, looked at Yi Shangcho and said, Okay, but you have to do me a favor, only if you do it, I will get on the ship. Okay, sure. Yi Shangcho looked at Luffy helplessly. Then he said, why don't we go find Click now? Don't bother, they will come. At this time, the old man who fell with Luffy spoke. Well, then wait, you don't have to do anything, I can handle it by myself. Zoro was stunned. Really don't need help. No need. I haven't taken any serious action in such a long time since I went out to sea. Luffy, you are not allowed to take any action this time. Do you hear me? Got it, I'll leave it to you. Hey. Luffy, have you decided? Isn't this too much of a joke? Yi has said it, so leave it to him. Luffy said carelessly. Then Yi Shangcho glanced at the old man in front of him. Good wine and good food, I have to have a good meal before the battle. Recently, the energy line has not been full, and I need energy. Haha, ha, this is a restaurant on the sea, so it is natural to make sure the customers are well fed. The old man laughed. Let me eat enough. Yi Shangcho looked at the old man with contempt. Stop it. You are insulting the chef. You are risking the chef's dignity. If you can't fill your stomach, I won't charge you. Then try it. Then everyone was shocked. Yi Shangcho was such a big eater. His mouth was like a crusher. No matter what was put into it, it disappeared in a second. Why can you eat so much? I have a divine body, so I need a lot of energy. Strictly speaking, the energy provided by ordinary food is very limited for me. Unless I encounter ingredients like sea kings, these things. Yi Shangcho explained as he spoke. Then in the blink of an eye, it was already night. Most of the chefs in the sea restaurant have fainted. Why do I say most? Because only Boss Zef and Sanji are still standing. It's not that Yi Shangcho is full, it's just that the ingredients are gone. Without ingredients, there is naturally no food to eat. There is no way, Yi Shangcho can only return to the ship to rest, because the energy is almost enough now, he can speed up his gene fusion. While waiting for the arrival of the click pirates, Nami and the others often go to the sea restaurant, and Luffy also does odd jobs in the sea restaurant. This has been four days. On this day, Yi Shangcho was fusing his genes in the cabin as usual. Suddenly there was a knock on the door outside. Yi Shangcho stood up and saw Nami looking at Yi Shangcho anxiously. Click, the click pirates are coming. Finally they are here, otherwise I would have gone to look for them. Yi Shangcho put on his coat, a divine robe. It was his first official battle, so he had to look great and give Nami a crushing victory. 
As soon as he got out of the cabin, Yi Shangcho looked towards the thick fog. Why are you scared? A small boat appeared in the thick fog, with a man sitting on it. That person is. Yi Shangcho said, This is the man I mentioned before, Hakai, one of the seven warlords of the sea. At this time, Hakai had already drawn his sword, and with a casual strike, the speed was incredibly fast. Then he saw the large ship not far away being cut open. How is this possible? Nami couldn't believe her eyes. Nothing is impossible. Yi Shangcho said calmly. The pirates who were charging towards the sea restaurant were stunned. Many pirates fell directly into the sea. Yi Shangcho leaned on the railing of the deck and shouted to Hakai. Hey, we meet again. Hakai turned around and saw Yi Shangcho. He still remembered this person. It was an interesting ability. Hem. Is this your pirate ship? Hakai looked at the pirate flag flying on the Mary. They are ours. I am the vice captain of this ship. Let's discuss it. Hakai looked at Yi Shangcho calmly. Yi Shangcho said, Can you leave them to me? I need them to prove my strength to my navigator. Give me some face. Hakai sat down and slowly put away his sword, using such a group of weaklings to prove your strength. I don't care, it's just to kill time, but what's the price? Yi Shangcho reluctantly took out a bottle of wine and threw it to Hakai, not much. Hakai didn't say anything, still looking at Yi Shangcho. Don't go too far. Yi Shangcho threw another bottle of wine over, and he was also very painful. Hakai happily picked up the two bottles of wine, they are yours. Yi Shangcho looked aggrieved. Speaking of reason, you should know what my wine is like. These two bottles of wine are enough to buy all their heads, and it's three times the amount. You need it, don't you? What the hell do you think we are? At this moment, two minions stood up and shot at Hakai and Yi Shangcho. Hakai just raised his black knife and used the blade to change the direction of the bullet. Yi Shangcho was much more violent and directly caught the two bullets with his hands. Nami was shocked. I missed it. I was clearly aiming. A pirate said in surprise. Zoro stood up and faced Hawkeye and said, he made the bullet miss. He used the blade to gently change the trajectory of the bullet. How is this possible? Hey, who are you? Zoro ignored the other party. He walked to the front of Hawkeye's boat. However, some people recognized Zoro's identity, the pirate hunter Zoro with three swords. Nami looked at Yi Shangcho, Hawkeye solved it like this, what about you? Yi Shangcho spread out his hands, two bullets were in his palms, and now they were still emitting a wisp of green smoke. Yi Shangcho said, I don't have his ability. Hawkeye glanced at Yi Shangcho, how did you find such a weak opponent? I have never seen such a soft sword. Zoro looked at Hawkeye and said with a smile. Hawkeye looked back at Zoro, a sword with only power has no strength. Yi Shangcho suddenly said, to make light of heavy things and to make heavy things light. Hawkeye nodded. That's right. Zoro didn't care about this and asked directly, was this ship also cut in half with that knife? Exactly. I see, you are indeed the strongest. Zoro was very excited, looking at Hawkeye who was silent, I went out to sea to see you. Zoro said and began to untie the headscarf tied on his arm. What is the goal? The strongest. Hawkeye laughed sarcastically. How stupid. Zoro ignored Hawkeye's sarcasm and drew his sword directly. You are free, let's have a fight. Hawkeye raised his head. What a sad weakling. Yi Shangcho sighed and took out another bottle of wine and threw it to Hawkeye. Here, give me some face. Hawkeye took the wine, put it on the boat, and then flashed in front of Zoro. Even if we haven't fought, I'm sure you can see the difference in strength between you and me. You dare to draw your sword against me. Should I say you are brave or ignorant? But since you have accepted the reward, I will not refuse to do my job. It seems that your vice captain wants me to tell you how big this world is. Don't tell me, no, don't say that. Nami looked at Yi Shangcho, you said what's in your heart. Hakai ignored Yi Shangcho's complaints. Zoro didn't care either, and directly answered Hakai's question, because of my ambition and the promise with my best friend. He pulled out the knife from his neck, which was only about three or four inches long. What's the meaning? I can't find a smaller knife than this. There has to be a limit to looking down on others. Zoro was completely enraged and rushed over, don't regret it after you die. 
Frog in the well, let me teach you a lesson on behalf of your deputy captain and show you how big the world is. Don't draw hatred to me. Yi Shangcho couldn't help but complain. At this time, Zoro had already started to attack, and he used his own killer move, Demon Slash. Unfortunately, Hawkeye's knife was blocked in the middle of the three knives, and it didn't move at all, even if Zoro used all his strength. Zoro was shocked. Others also looked at Zoro worriedly. Luffy, Johnny, Joseph, and even Nami couldn't believe it. Well, Yi Shangcho sighed. Nami looked at Yi Shangcho. Are the seven warlords of the sea so strong? Strong. A vice admiral can conquer the East China Sea, but a vice admiral is not his opponent. Of course, he can probably conquer anyone in the four seas. Yi Shangcho explained. Zoro's mentality completely collapsed. Then Zoro began to attack desperately, but all his moves were blocked by Hawkeye with a toy-like knife. Zoro didn't even touch the corner of Hawkeye's clothes. Hawkeye saw the opportunity, dodged Zoro's attack, and hit Zoro's back neck with a hand knife. Zoro fell down directly, but he was not a man who would surrender so easily. Zoro stood up again, even though his body was shaking. But Zoro was still waving the knife in his hand. But this time Hawkeye just turned around slightly and dodged, and Zoro fell directly to the ground. Hawkeye looked at Zoro who was lying on the ground. What are you carrying? What do you desire at the end of being strong? Weak. Joseph and Johnny on the side couldn't help hearing this. The two drew their knives and rushed out. How dare you say that the eldest brother is weak? Get back. Yi Shangcho shouted. Then Luffy stretched out his arms and grabbed the two people and pressed them on the deck. Don't attack, be patient. Although Luffy said so, he could not bear it any longer. Usopp looked at the two people and whispered, Luffy, Vice Captain. At this time, Zoro also stood up, remembering that Luffy and Yi Shangcho invited him to the promise I made when. I, absolutely cannot lose. Zoro once again took an attacking stance. Tiger. Hunting. Puff. A stream of blood spurted out. Hawkeye stabbed Zoro's heart with a knife. Yi Shangcho closed his eyes. Hawkeye looked at Zoro. Do you want to be stabbed through the heart? Why don't you retreat? Zoro's face was calm. I don't know. I don't know myself. I just feel that even if I take a step back here, all the promises and vows I have made so far will disappear. I can never come back here again. Yes, this is called defeat. Then I can't retreat. You won't retreat even if you die. It's better to die. Hawkeye seemed to be touched and pulled out his knife and put it back into the sheath. Tell me your name, kid. Zoro once again took an offensive stance, Roronoa no Azoro. Hawkeye slowly pulled out the black knife from his back. I will remember this, my long lost strong man. Then, to show my etiquette as a swordsman, I will use this strongest black knife in the world to bury you in the sea. I'm really grateful. You shameless, that's not what you said, right? Yi Shangcho was really anxious this time. Why did he feel like he was sending Zoro to his death? But it was too late to say anything at this time, the two men flashed past. One of Zoro's swords had broken. Zoro, on the contrary, was very calm and admitted that he had lost. Yi Shangcho was also relieved that Hawkeye was still holding back. Zoro put away his sword, turned around and faced Hawkeye with his arms open. Hawkeye was stunned. What are you doing? The scars on the back are a swordsman's shame. Great. Hawkeye swung his knife. Puff. It was almost in the blink of an eye. This is very simple. Just give up your ambition. Sanji and the others realized something was wrong as soon as they finished shouting. There was a person standing in front of Hawkeye. This person was not Zoro, and the knife did not cut Zoro's body. Yi Shangcho finally couldn't bear it anymore, and flashed to Zoro's side and kicked Zoro into the sea. Yi Shangcho took Hawkeye's knife firmly. Hawkeye looked up at Yi Shangcho in front of him. Why, you could have dodged it. Yi Shangcho wiped the blood with his hand and said, because the victory or defeat has been decided, although I did disturb your fight, as the vice captain, I can't watch my crew members die in front of me and do nothing. So I can't dodge this knife. Even for the sake of the strongest hearts of my crew members, I absolutely cannot dodge or resist. Leaf. Big brother. Big brother. At this time Luffy had already rushed over, and Joseph and Johnny also jumped into the sea to save Zoro. Luffy who flew over was caught by Yi Shangcho. Hawkeye looked at Luffy, 
you are his captain, thank you for watching to the end. On the other side, Zoro had been rescued from the sea. Hakai looked in the direction of Zoro, it's too early for you to die, I am Jorakal Mahak, see yourself clearly, know the world, and become stronger. No matter how many years have passed, I will be waiting for you in the strongest position. Surpass this sword, surpass me. Rorano Azoro. The others were also shocked. Hawkeye looked back at Luffy and Yi Shangcho. Two boys, what is your goal? Luffy announced directly, Pirate King. Yi Shangcho replied, the strongest in the world. Hawkeye said, that's a more difficult road than surpassing me. Luffy and Yi Shangcho looked at each other. Who cares about that? At this time, Zoro also woke up. Zoro slowly raised his sword. Captain, did the deputy captain hear it? Yeah, I heard it. I'm sure you're worried. If I don't become the world's strongest swordsman, you'll be in trouble, right? Cough. Before he could finish his words, Zoro coughed up blood. But Zoro continued to speak regardless of the other's attempts to stop him. I, I won't lose again. Before I defeat him and become a great swordsman, I will never lose again. Do you have any opinions? One Piece. The strongest in the world. Luffy was very happy to hear Zoro's roar. No. Come on. Yi Shangcho turned to look at the click pirates. Hawkeye turned to leave, saying as he walked, A good team, I hope to see you again. Yi Shangcho said, Don't leave in a hurry, wait until I deal with them and have a drink together. This time there will be good wine and good food. Hawkeye stopped and said, a long time. Yi Shangcho raised a finger, three minutes. Then he said to Zef, boss, prepare the food. Hawkeye flashed to the deck of the sea restaurant. Luffy also ran after him. Hey, aren't you going to help? Sanji looked at Luffy and asked. Yi K is very powerful, he said he would leave it to him. On the other side, Click was also irritated. Little devil, stop looking down on me. The sea is not something that a young boy like you can cross, come and try to get my head. Click's armor was lifted up, revealing the barrels of his guns. Go to hell. Countless ammunition and shells flew towards Yi Shangcho. Yi Shangcho suddenly disappeared in a flash, and then dark holes appeared around him. Click's ammunition flew out from it, and the black hole enveloped the entire Click pirates. Many pirates were killed by the ammunition flying out. Hawkeye suddenly said. 30 seconds. Yi Shangcho appeared again, got it. Daggers appeared in Yi Shangcho's hands. Yi Shangcho jumped into the air, his body began to spin rapidly, and the flying knives flew into the black hole one by one, and then appeared in an unknown hole. Everyone could only see that the click pirates seemed to be connected by countless silver threads, and anyone who touched those silver threads fell down. The people of the click pirates lay on the abandoned ship wailing. Hawkeye said. One minute. There are two more. How is it possible, a monster? The user of the fruit ability. Yi Shangcho revealed his body again and looked calmly at Click in front of him, not finding the second person. Go to hell. I saw Crick holding up something like a shield, with a black hole in the middle. Run, Captain, are you going to kill us? Jump into the sea quickly, that's a poison gas bomb. Yi Shangcho tilted his head and looked at Click. Where is the second person? Boom, a red bullet flew towards Yi Shangcho. All of Click's pirates put on gas masks. Yi Shangcho raised his hand and a black hole appeared. The bullet sank directly into the black hole. Then there was an explosion on the sea in the distance. The direction is wrong, the wind is blowing this way. Someone noticed that the poison gas was spreading towards this side. Yi Shangcho raised his hand, and a small tornado appeared in his hand. Then the tornado swept towards the poison gas. At this time, a person wrapped in a round shield appeared, and there were pearl-like things in the middle of the round shield. It's Lord Baru, the Iron Wall. No one can break his defense. Yi Shangcho took two steps to Baru and punched him in the stomach. Boom. Baru's shield that protected the entire expulsion was shattered, and he was also knocked out and fell into the sea and sank directly into the water. Then Yi Shangcho walked towards Click. You are really weak. Wet him with sea water. I don't believe you can dodge this time. Click ordered immediately, and then he raised his gun to Yi Shangcho again. Yi Shangcho let the seawater and bullets hit him. He walked steadily to the front of Click. Who told you that I am a fruit ability user? Then he accelerated to the side of Click and punched Click in the stomach. 
The armor on Click's body shattered, and he spit out blood and fell to the ground unconscious. Yi Shangcho grabbed Click's head with one hand. A bounty of 17 million, he he. Let go of Captain Click. At this moment, Akin, who had not taken action, rushed over with his weapon raised. Yi Shangcho didn't even look back, grabbed Click and smashed him directly on Akin. The two of them immediately lost their ability to resist. With this, all members of the Click pirates lost their ability to fight. Yi Shangcho clapped his hands and looked at Nami, are you satisfied? Or do I have to kill them all to win? Nami looked at Yi Shangcho in horror. She never thought that the usually laughing Yi Shangcho would have such strength. Click is only 3 million berries less than the evil dragon. Such a person didn't last more than 3 minutes in Yi Shangcho's hands. Nami sat down on the ground weakly. You win. Yi. Shangcho smiled slightly, turned around and came to Hawkeye. Less than 3 minutes. Hawkeye didn't speak, and walked directly into the restaurant. Stop staring with your mouth wide open, and go eat. Yi Shangcho patted Yusop on the shoulder. Are you a monster? If you develop all your abilities, you can do it too. Yi Shangcho followed Hawkeye to the restaurant and sat down. After Yi Shangcho sat down, a fierce looking waiter said respectfully, That dish is not ready yet. You didn't even open fire, did you? Yi Shangcho couldn't help but complain. These people don't believe in their own strength, right? Seeing Hawkeye staring at him, Yi Shangcho had no choice but to take things out of the black hole. These were the things he had recently gained. I have to say that this restaurant on the sea is really good. Because he discovered two fragments of the, food captive, world here. A lot of good things were born in it. Yi Shangcho has been busy with this and gene fusion these days. Among them is a fragment called the Wine Master Islands, which contains a lot of good wine. Soon a pile of things filled the dining table. Of course, Yi Shangcho also took out a lot of good wine but the price was definitely not as good as the one he gave to Hawkeye before. The key is that Hawkeye has no intention of taking out the good wines before. Hawkeye took a sip of red wine and said, Your fist is very similar to a person's fist, and it has the style of that person. Yi Shangcho shuddered. Don't mention that person. Luffy has already started eating voraciously. But the others are not slow either. Yi Shangcho took out some ingredients and gave them to the chefs, asking them to help cook. After Zoro's wound was simply treated by the restaurant staff, he came over and ate a few bites, then fell asleep. Johnny and Joseph were sitting at another table, trembling and not daring to say much. At this time, Nami finally came over. Nami felt very powerless. She bowed to Yi Shangcho and Hawkeye. Please. Yi Shangcho and Hawkeye were stunned, and then Hawkeye continued to drink. Nami lowered her head and cried, Please help me. Help me drive away the evil dragon, he occupied our village, he killed my relatives. He promised me that as long as I could collect 100 million baileys, he would let our village go. I have no other choice, please help me. The chefs began to talk. Evil dragon, is it that evil dragon? The man with the highest bounty in the East Sea. 20 million bounty. I heard that they have colluded with the navy and have taken control of several villages. Hawkeye said, you shouldn't beg me, and you don't need to. I won't do anything. However, the evil dragon is a subordinate of the seven warlords of the sea Jinbei, and the others. Nami is worried about the seven warlords of the sea. Yi Shangcho looks at Hawkeye. That seven warlords of the sea. I don't care. There are differences in the strength of the seven warlords of the sea. Then my words. Easy. Oh, then I feel relieved. It's fun to bully the weak. Yi Shangcho stared at Hawkeye without saying anything. His eyes almost said, how can you say such a thing? Hawkeye thought about it and felt that he was the same. Hawkeye looked at the pile of food in front of him. They were all good things. Give me some of these creatures, and if Jinbei attacks, I will help you block them. Or I will chop him with a knife and let him recuperate for a while. Yi Shangcho said, these are creatures that only exist on the wine island. They drink alcohol all year round, so there is a smell of alcohol in their bodies. To be honest, I don't know if they will smell like this if I take them out. Where is the island? Yi Shangcho rolled his eyes. After thinking for a while, he said, I can't give you the living ones. I'll give you a few dead ones. Yi Shangcho took out a scroll. The bodies of these creatures are sealed inside. 
You can take them out and eat them. Just inject energy into the marked positions. I'll write to you later. Very interesting ability. Hawkeye did not think that the other party would lie to him. At this time, Yi Shang Cho looked at Nami and said, Don't worry, we agreed. We agreed to the conditions before. I told you to have confidence in us. I'm sorry, I really, help me. Nami could hardly stop crying. Luffy patted Nami's head. Of course, I'm going to beat him away. Luffy stood up and shouted, Brothers, let's kill the evil dragon. No problem. Yi Shang Cho said with a smile. Hey, you guys should wait for your swordsmen to recuperate for a while. Zef said, and glanced at Sanji. Yes, I'm very tired from fighting today. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Nami, I think you shouldn't be in a hurry, right? Okay, okay. Nami was still crying. But she also knew that the main problem was Zoro's injury. Everyone ate and drank for a while before dispersing. Hawkeye only stayed for an hour. When he left, he insisted that Yi Shang Cho disturbed his fight, and then asked for another bottle of good wine. Yi Shang Cho complained helplessly. This dignified Shichibukai eats and takes things. But there was no way, because Yi Shang Cho was not Hawkeye's opponent. Hawkeye gave Yi Shang Cho an address when he left, which was the location of his home on the Grand Line. After seeing Hawkeye off, everyone returned to the ship to rest. Luffy pestered Sanji to let him get on board, and Sanji actually had this intention. The most important thing was that he was really interested in the ingredients in Yi Shang Cho's hand. But Sanji still needed a reason. Everyone rested at night. After all, everyone was tired after a day. Yi Shang Cho walked out of the cabin and came to the rear deck. Nami was squatting on the rear deck, hugging her knees with her hands and burying her head in her knees. Yi Shang Cho took out a blanket and covered Nami. Nami raised her red eyes and looked at Yi Shang Cho. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.